Oh yeah, Sunday fun day begins. I know, I know, Comatron's ready. <laughs> oh my god, Amiga Kenny! You know, you know, I know who else is ready. I know Ash is ready. So I am so ready. Today is going to be an awesome one. Everyone got a very, very special guest in the office. The one and only Ash says hi. Say hi, Ash. Hi, everyone. Hello, hello. I, uh, this is going to be an awesome stream today. We got so much to do. Uh, Sanzina01, what is up, Tim? Great to see you. Thank you, everyone who followed from Ash's stream. That was awesome. Air Yuri with the resub. Bo Joing. Air Yuri in the hot tub, in the chat, in the sub club. Cobrian, what is up? Brother Bill in the chat, what's up, Brother Bill? Happy Sunday to you, Sanzian Oram, what's up, Oram? Andy Beast in UK, Jost80, I am League, what is up? Steve's Retro, Steve got an Amiga 500 yesterday. Oh, oh that's awesome. Nice, Steve, love it. DJ Billy Nest in the chat. DJ Nest, I got your goodie. I got your goodie in the mail yesterday. I'll be sending it to, to the homeland soon. Um. Razor XG, what is up, Razor? How's it going, my man? Chest X Barry PL. Ash said hi in the chat, in the office. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Ash is pumped. I'm pumped. It's gonna, it's gonna be awesome. Um, yeah, it's gonna SW3 Po. It's gonna be awesome. I'm, I'm totally psyched. It's a little bit different here. A little bit different today, but it's gonna be great. Arnouge, my man, what's up? Amiga Cami's here. Oh, awesome. Yo, T D X N Y C E A. Is that, is that That's one? from me, TDX. Awesome. Hi. What's up, TDX? Thank you for the follow. Um, yo, Box of Crackers. Thank you so much for the sub, Box of Crackers. Box of Crackers is now watching ad free. He gets awesome emojis. And uh, Box of Crackers will be getting the Amigaville goodie bag. Love it. Amiga 1200 Gamers here. Poetic Android. Awesome. Um, so, what's up, Mr. Mr. Maxman? What is up? Um, TDX, awesome. <laughs> Locust is here. Michael Jensen, Sanzine 01. Thank you so much for this. Oh, thank you so much for the sub and the bit. And uh, Sanzine, you're the best, Tim. The future was 8 bit. The future is 8 bit. Razor XG with the bits. Thank you so much. K Indiana. Oh, awesome, awesome. I I'm so ready for this. Ash, I, 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 you know, I start all my streams with a demo. Being that you just acquired two Amiga 500s, I want to start with one of my favorite Amiga 500 demos. It actually came out um, not too long ago. It came out in 2015 at a party called Flashback, and it's is gorgeous. My friend Chris, his name is Citrix. He did the music, mm -hmm. and it's it's gonna be awesome. It's a great demo, and uh, we'll play a demo, and then we'll we'll get into this. I can't wait. I'm so excited. This one, I don't know, Ash. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's Gag Rakaka. <laughs> <laughs> it's Gag Rakaka Mine Zones by Disaster Area. All right, let's do it. Turn it up, baby. Here we go.
What's up, Ash? Hi. <laughs> How's it going? I am so excited to be here. Thank you so much for having me. You're welcome. You're it's welcome. Thank you for coming. Oh, of course. <laughs> I could not miss this. It's. I'm just so excited. I'm so excited to like learn and talk with you all and just have fun with some Amiga today. It's going to be awesome. It is. It is going to be awesome. Um, I think Ash. I think I need to open up the the exposure a little bit on your camera because you know the sun is the sun's going in and out here. It's kind of you know normally Ash. I harness the power of the sun for the stream. Um, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna open up the camera a little bit. So just hang tight. Okay. I'm gonna put my. I'm gonna get. Well, I'll explain the setup to the folks in a minute. But Definitely. I'm gonna move over into your area of the room. Okay. So I'm gonna throw my mask on just to be safe. Sounds yeah. good. And then I'm gonna adjust the the camera exposure. Oh wait, here comes the sun. <laughs> here comes. It's crazy. <laughs> and I'm just gonna adjust the camera here for you. Oh my god. And of course I hit my toe. All right, and then this, and we're gonna Hi, open Hi, Paranoic Joes, Amiga 1200 Gamer. There we go. Arno Nuge. Oh, we got a hype train going? We got a hype train, oh, oh yeah. yeah. All right, let me get back into it here. Um, now I'm over, this is crazy, Ash. We're all I it's, know. It's, uh, the sun just doesn't wanna cooperate. The sun is not cooperating, it's okay, it's good, it's good. All right, let's go, let's go. All right, here we go. Oh, Captain John Archer, thank you for the 23 months with Prime. That is amazing. Captain John, Ash, you see the, the picture I got of Captain John right there. It is Enemy oh, Sons. Yeah. Let me let me reset. Ash, can you lower my mic down a little bit? Sure. Just a little bit. Is that That's it? good. That's perfect. Yeah. Okay, All right. Cool. So let me, you know, I am leg. Thank you for the bits. I am leg. That is so generous of you. Thank you. I am leg. Arnouj. Arnouj, the goodie bag. So the Amiga Bill goodie bag, if you're a subscriber or a Patreon, you get the Amiga Bell goodie bag, and I, I give you a document with all the stream links that I talk about in that stream, um, as well as the demo, as well as photographs. You get, if it's a free game or something free that's going on, you know, I, get, I include that in the goodie bag. You never know what you're gonna get in the goodie bag, but I can promise you, it's always, it's always really, really good. Ah, let's see, let me catch up on here. Jost80 with the 16 bits, thank you so much. Good evening, SR Baker, what is up? What is up, SR Baker, great to see you, my man. SR Baker checking in from the Amiga Bill VIP Lounge. Box of Crackers, what is up? Um, Chris C64, good evening to you. Um, ooh, oh yeah, DJ Billy Ness made this amazing scallop presentation for me. It was, I, I'm gonna play it off my real Amiga one day, but yeah, he's the, he's the man. Yo, Captain John, thank you for the resub. You rock, Captain John and Amiga Sons. Hope all is well. New Jack 74, what is up, New Jack? Um, I, Icon Os Osillum, what is up? Mantle Ferrix, what's Hi, up? Man. Oh, hello. Um, it is, what's up, everyone? This is awesome. Leech, hi, Leech. Look at this pro. Oh, my God. It's because <laughs> Bill is lighting me, like, so beautifully. It's amazing. What's up, Bobby Zeal? Great to see you. Thank you, everyone, for all the support. You're, uh, you're amazing. We got, we got a hype train. It's, it's crazy. Comatron, what's up, buddy? Uh, designer, designer drama, designer, doctor... <laughs> designer. designer dreams. Designer dreams. Hey, there you go. what's up, designer dreams? What's up, designer dreams? Great to see you. Uh, thank you for coming in. Oh, awesome, awesome. Like, I'm, I'm looking forward to it as well, as well. Uh, oh, mantle Ferox, That's too kind. That's too kind. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> yes, Ash can keep up with the chat. I, I certainly can't. Um, Tosa, uh, toss a coin into your Twitch. Thank you so much for the follow, toss a coin. Appreciate that very, very much. Um, yes, Cap Captain John, yes. So let me, I'll explain the situation in a minute. You, yeah, Ash is rocking the Arkanoid t-shirt, it's awesome. What's up, Maya82, also checking in from the Amiga Bill. G-Cola, thank you for the follow, G-Cola, hi. Thank you, I know G-Cola from your streams, Ash, <laughs> yeah. I recognize the name, what's up, G-Cola? <laughs> I love you, G-Cola, thank There's G-Cola, I'm, I'm here for the Ash, I love you, awesome. <laughs> oh, Ash, you got, G-Cola's a big fan, I dig it, I dig it. Thank you for following G-Cola, I appreciate it. Um, let's see, what, let's see, boom, 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 uh, what's going on here? Okay, we're good, we're good. Um, yo, Arnouj, Arnouj, um, hit me up with a, with a, you've been a sub for seven months now and you missed a lot of goodie bags. It may, maybe you have your, your Twitch, your Twitch notify, like the, the Twitch email might be going to spam, you know, or you might be, you might not be subscribed to Twitch email. Arnouj, send me, send me a private message either here or on the Discord and I'll, I'll send you all the goodie bags, all right? <laughs> I'll, I promise. Um, Oh yeah, yeah, Sanzine, we have to play Arkanoid. You're, you're right, you're totally right. Thank you, thank you DJ Nest for, uh, for again, for the Scala presentation, it's awesome. Okay, um, did, did, you make, you, did you make a new one, DJ Billy Nest? Is, or is that the other one? So guys, let me explain to you like what's going on here. So, all right, re, let's, let's, now, now I can gather my thoughts here. 
Welcome, welcome to the office, Ash. Thank you yes, so much. Yes, so Ash, Ash and I are in you know my normal my normal stream area, um, and you know, but we want to we want to do it safely. You know what I mean? So we're at, we're Ash and I are actually social distancing right now, and and we have plexiglass. We have a, a wall of plexiglass between us. Mm -hmm. This way, like we're gonna do it with masks. We weren't sure what to do, but I'm like, if I put plexiglass between us and we stay six feet apart, then it will be safe. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So so if I need to come over and make an adjustment on the camera, I'll throw the mask on, but. Yeah, so Ash is, and the reason why Ash is here in the physical space is because Ash has acquired two Amiga 500s. Yep. And uh, we, we're gonna check them out on the stream today, see if they work. She's never plugged them in. Never. Um, so we'll see, we'll see, uh, we'll see what happens. But so, so Ash, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much. I can't begin to tell you how excited I am. First of all, you all don't know, but the setup in here and the <laughs> amount of time that goes into preparing the stream is like absolutely incredible. Production value is amazing and I'm learning a lot. Just even sitting in the room and speaking with Bill, it's been absolutely awesome. And I love these tunes. They're the nice. music is so good. We're, so we're listening to mod files. It's a four channel file. It's a music file that the Amiga can play. Mm -hmm. And we're listening to the, the gentleman's name is Yogur Lion Hall, and he's like one of the, the legends in the Amiga music scene. Oh, man. So, yeah, some really beautiful stuff. Um, oh, right on, DJ Nest. Nice. I'll, I will definitely check it out, DJ Nest. Uh, Brother Bill, you want to get the. Yes, that's an Arkanoid T uh, Legion. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is my Arkanoid T I got from Uniqlo because they always have like the coolest like gaming shirts and it's like really inexpensive. So, you, yeah. Speaking of shirts, you, unfortunately, unfortunately, the way the setup is now, you can't see my shirt, but let me get up. I've got a pretty awesome shirt on myself. It's really, it's, really it's, awesome. It's, a, it's pixel art design, all done on a real Amiga by the one and only Vicky Pixel Vixen. She's, I love it. She's an amazing artist, originally from the UK. She moved to Japan now to pursue her dreams. And, you know, these t-shirts help support her in Japan. Yeah. And uh, But that's a pixel, some pixel art she made on her Amiga, and now she prints the t-shirts. That's so. beautiful art. I always love pixel art. So you can put, like, so much detail in it, and it's just, like, it's a really nice print, too. It's really, really awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, Tim, uh, Sans, you know, one, we are here in New York, uh, <laughs> so we don't have 500 pluses here. I mean, we do now, but back in the day, we didn't. So no, no problem with the... the so she's got um, 512 megabyte RAM expansion in the trapdoor, and the, that, those batteries may have leaked. So if the Amigas don't turn on, we'll pull, we'll pull the trapdoor, we'll pull the 512K, and we'll get her Amiga to boot up. We'll see. Thanks, Captain John. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> Thanks, Mantle. Um, yeah, Cammy, you love this mod. Nice. So, um, so Ash, like, so for I know most of my viewers know who you are, but. In case there's someone watching who hasn't seen the amazing Ash said hi, why don't you uh, introduce yourself to everyone? Hi everyone, my name is Ash. Um, I play lots of Nintendo and retro, um, but of course, you know, how I got my start in gaming was from my parents. And my father, went, as, growing up as a child, he had Amiga. And I clearly remember playing games with him like Dungeon Master, Eye of the Beholder, Lemmings, Shadow of the Beast, um, and all those, those games. So that's why bringing the Amigas here was so important to me because it's a part of my childhood and it kind of got me started on the road to loving games and retro. So um, that's a lot of the the type of content that I play on my channel um, and I'm hoping to learn and explore more Amiga content as I learn from people like Bill and everybody in the channel who you know anytime I ever have a question about anything Amiga is always there to help and that's that's what we're gonna be here to learn and do today and just learn the history and I'm super excited I'm super excited because that's the most important thing you know like when Anthony and I started Guru Meditation YouTube channel and when I do these twitch streams like I just I want to preserve Amiga you know I want to preserve retro and pass it on to the next generation so it's not forgotten because you know some like video games are massive today like kids love the games and obviously and it's just it's really important to know like where they came from and you know the Amiga was a pivotal computer in video game history because it had I mean, when it came out its games were like so much better than anything else out there at the time Absolutely. so we'll check out some classics today Arcan so about Arkanoid so Arkanoid obviously a classic arcade game and one of the things that made the Amiga really special is that um, it the versions of the games um, usually like when let's say you had Arkanoid for like an older like an Atari 2600 it wasn't it wasn't anything like the arcade you know mm -hmm. it was it was they, the, the machines weren't as powerful it couldn't it couldn't be as good as the arcade but when the Amiga came out it was like whoa like this version is like this is like as good as the arcade yeah and Arkanoid and Marble Madness are, I think are two of the originals early ones that came out on Amiga and they're like almost arcade perfect that's it's awesome. amazing that's awesome and see that's cool to learn because then you know when you see the different iterations of the games like maybe people who don't know don't really know 
know what's the the main difference, but just knowing like all the capability of Amiga, like down to the sound chips and like the way that it processes music and like visuals, like it's really cool. Nice, nice. Yeah. Um, Legion twenty one eighty three. Sour Pill and G. Cola, thank you for the follows. I think I mentioned uh, toss a coin into your Twitch. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, and Amiga, Amiga Live rated me with a party of four. Welcome Ami in. So Amiga Live is something really interesting, Ash. Amiga Live, um, it's my friend John. He made this amazing system where there's an emulator called FSDOE Emulator. It emulates the Amiga, but he, he made it. It's got this feature called NetPlay, mm -hmm. and he set up these servers all around the world, like literally all around the world. And it allows you to play, you know, head-to-head -head Amiga games online, mm -hmm. which is incredible. Like I never imagined that, like when back in the day, like when I had my Amiga, you have to get together like we are now. Yeah. So, so but this is really cool because like we're actually gonna get to play together like on the same Amiga. Yeah. But if you don't have that feature, you know, if you don't have that luxury of being able to do that, yeah. Amiga Live is the place to go. AmigaLive.com. Yeah. <laughs> Sky, hi Sky, how are you? Oh, nice sour pill. Yo, Purple Haze Maker, what's up, dude? Great to see you. Purple Haze, I'm so bummed I missed your stream. Uh, you were playing the new game from Sarah, and I, I really, really want to see that. I was out I was out um, with Wife Device, Alexandra, and I was like, oh man, I really want to see that. But I caught Mr. Cola playing it last night, and that was awesome. That was awesome. Um, I, I, what's up, Sky Coaster Man? Um, I, I, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit off because my setup here, I, I rearranged the whole room. <laughs> like I, I, for my normal streams, I have muscle memory. It's but, kind of my fault. But today, no, it's not your fault. But today, today you know, I, I dialed it in with the, I, I dialed, I made it COVID, COVID compliant. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Um, Myself and my daughter, Danica, play retro systems together. And she has a Commodore 64 in her bedroom setup now. So you have those memories together. Oh, my God. That is so awesome. Awesome, Sanxian. That's really cool um, that you shared that with us. It, it's really important, you know, like it builds those memories and then, you know, you never know where those interests will take you later in life because maybe that that's what kind of got me into graphic design and like technology and video games and stuff like that. So sharing those memories is like super important. Yeah, I mean Amiga obviously played a big role in my, my, my future because Amiga was also, besides it being great for games, it was the best tool for video. Mm -hmm. You know, they had something called the Video Toaster. Even if you didn't have a Video Toaster, it had uh, Genlox, it had all these amazing graphics programs. So I used to make videos when I was a kid, mm -hmm. and I was way ahead of the curve because like, I could put together some really amazing looking stuff with the Amiga. And, um, and the people are like, how'd you do that? It's amazing. I'm like, it's the Amiga, man. It's way ahead of its time. So it, obviously, it got me into video production, and that's what I do for a living now. So yeah. it was a gateway to my career as well. Um, sorry, someone just um, hosted the stream, and the notification went away. I'm really sorry about that. I don't know, I, oh man, I gotta figure that out. But Sky, <laughs> Sky Coaster Man, thank you so much for the follow. If you are, yeah, SR Baker, of course, dude, go for it, my man. Um, yeah, there are so many awesome streamers. Brother Bill is there. Brother Bill is modding and he's shouting all the amazing streamers out. Uh, Oram says, um, thank you for the host, Brother Bill. Dude, oh man, yeah, Mr. Cola's stream last night was amazing, Oram. He did such a great job. He might not show up today because he partied so hard. SR Baker is also streaming, um, streaming with I Am League. Oh, and nice. SR Baker is a really, really awesome guy. I, I love SR Baker. So yeah, definitely go follow SR Baker. But he doesn't stream under SR Baker. He streams under another name because he's co-streaming with I Am Lake. Yo, um, Freja C83, thank you so much for the follow. I feel so bad. Someone like hosted it, and I, I, I blew it. I blew it. Ash. <laughs> That's I, I missed okay. the notification. That's okay. The chat is is flying. It's Chat's awesome. Flying. I love it. I, that's, yeah. And, yeah, I love it. Yo, Vincent G. Vincent Gr. He was like one of the. I've known him for a long time now. Vincent Gr. Like he followed Guru Meditation YouTube channel like the day it came out. Mm -hmm. He's like one of my OGs, man. <laughs> nice. That's all. well. Welcome oh, can, in, can, can, everybody. Can you pot it down a little bit there, Ash? Um. Just take one? Amiga and slide it down. There, that's good, that's good. That's I hope cool. the mix is good, everyone. Be with the social distancing, I can't reach, I can't reach my mixer. It's like seven feet away. Yeah, <laughs> so I gotta, I gotta do the assistant stuff. So yeah, I'm, too, I'm cool with that. Yo, Razor XG, thank you so much for that donation, Razor. You're, you're too kind, that, that is just awesome. Yeah, Amiga Cami is right. Amiga gave us such an advantage when it came to producing cool school projects. Totally, yeah. totally Amiga Cami. Yeah. Um, Razor XG, 420 bits, my man. <laughs> my man. <laughs> you rock, Razor, you rock. So, so I guess, I don't know, Ash, so the plan for today, you know, like, yeah. We're, the plan for today, to be honest, everyone, is like Ash and I just want to have fun. Like it's just awesome that we get to hang out. I've been hung out with many people at all since since March 12th. You know what I mean? So it's just cool to be together. Um, we obviously my Amiga 1200 is up and running right now. I got some cool head-to-head -head games. We may start up with a couple of games. Can't wait. And then of course you've got you've got two Amiga 500s here. Yeah. We need to plug them in and see if they work, and then we'll play some Amiga 500 games. I love it. I brought some games too, so it's gonna be really fun. Nice. Yeah, I can't wait to see your games. Uh, see what you brought. 
Um, brother, so DJ Nest, I'm, I would, I'm, I'm gonna play your, your, um, your video, but I'm, I'm just because there's a lot going on today, you know, <laughs> I'm gonna play it. I will play it again, but I'm gonna play it for my real Amiga. So if I don't play it right now, I, I'm sorry about that because I want to get into the games with Ash. I hope, I hope you understand. Um, full Tank 82, what's up? Great to see you, Full Tank. Um, oh, nice, Maya. I'm so glad you're here. I know you were working the late shift last night. I hope you got some rest. I hope you rested up for the stream. Um, the load error team is strong today. Oh, load error's here. Nice, nice. <laughs> I like your emojis there, Full Tank 82. Sweet. Good afternoon, Dave Velociraptor. Great to see you, Dave. I hope the you know, I'm using, we're using some like wireless lavalier microphones today. It's not as good as my normal mic, but I hope everyone can hear me okay. I hear a little bit of echo, but it's all right. Um, so Ash, do you want to play a game? Yes. You wanted to start out with a game? Let's start out with a game. I can't wait. So check it out. So my, so my, so uh, here's a little bit of a lesson, right? My Amiga 500 and your dad's Amiga 500s, which are now your Amiga 500s, they all are NTSC. Mm -hmm. And NTSC is the video standard that uh, we had here in North America. Mm -hmm. in, in Europe, they have PAL. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a different video standard, right? PAL's got um, an extra 25 lines of resolution, but it's got a slower frame rate. Mm -hmm. So um, if you have a game that's, or something that's designed to run on PAL, you put it on an NTSC Amiga, the NTSC Amiga is gonna run it faster. Mm -hmm. It's also, you're gonna lose like the bottom portion of the screen. Got it. So it's, they're not really compatible. Now, of course, like the 1200, you can switch between NTSC and, and PAL, which is cool. Mm -hmm. Like an original old school Amiga 500, you can't do that. Mm -hmm. So um, I have some Amiga 500 games on this Amiga 1200, but being that I can switch the Amiga 1200 to PAL, we can play it, because they're PAL only games. Awesome. So I figured like once once we got the 1200 up and running, um, why don't we just start off with a couple of games and then we'll get into the 500s. Love it. Um, yo, 11 Hawk, thank you, thank you so much for the follow. If you, and um, Tank, uh, Tankin Somteller82, thank you so much for the follow. If you're if you're just following my stream, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, I'm Bill, and I stream Amiga stuff every Sunday here on Twitch at 2 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. UTC. And um, yeah, I do I do like Amiga news. I play old Amiga games. I play new Amiga games. I like to interview people. A lot of, there's so much amazing new things happening in the Amiga community now. Like if someone makes a new game, I'll have them on. We'll check out their game, and I'll interview them about the game. I do creative streams as well. So yeah, thank you. I stream once a week. Uh, I also got a YouTube channel with my buddy Anthony called the, the Guru Meditation, youtube.com slash the Guru Meditation. Um, and I run the Westchester Amiga User Group, which yes. yes, Ash is in as well. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, oh, nice. Thank you. That's your brother. A nice full tank. Sweet. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Um, all right, Ash, let's play a game. Let's do it. Um, let's see what I got here. I'm going to reach over here. Uh, thank you. Thank you for the tunes. Um, let's see what I got here. Um, we could play. What do you, what, you want to start with some, some Swiv? Swiv, Swiv is a classic shooter. It's a vertical shooter. Yeah. Um, inter I've now, interestingly enough, I've never played it head to head on a 1200 before. Okay. So what's going to have to happen is I'm going to have to start it with the mouse. Okay. There's actually, you know, I think, is it, I mean, uh, yeah, actually, oh, I can do this. And then how do I, if I, what's the. Hi, what? Lemon Amiga. Hello. Welcome in. I forgot what the key is. Oh, there we go. That's what it is. All right. I actually, I think I can do this. I forgot what the key is to click. Uh, is it Alt? So left Amiga and the keyboards. Is it Control? Do you guys remember what the keyboard shortcut is for for clicking? I can just use the mouse. Um, uh, yeah, exactly, Brother Bill. If you want to experience the Amiga without the fuss and the must, download Amiga Live. There epic. you go. Epic! Hi, Epic. How are you? Welcome in. Sep Lemon Amiga. What's up, buddy? Great to see you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Epic is here. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Epic, I think I met Epic through you. Yeah. Awesome. All right, let's open up the stream folder here. So Ash, when after I start the game, okay, um, I'm gonna have you um, disconnect the mouse because I, I have an extension cable there, not the USB, the 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 nine pin one. This one. Yeah, you're gonna and then you're gonna plug that into the back of the monster joystick. Got it. All right, cool. I think I think that'll work. Yeah. So well, I'll be playing DJ Billy Nest. Um, I will be playing with the Greek stick. Um, I got it. Let's see. Let me untangle it here. I got. I got. I'll be playing with the Greek stick, and and Ash will be playing with the Monster Joystick. Um, the two two of my favorite sticks, Greek stick and Monster Joystick. They're they're just awesome. <laughs> and I there's love Monster. There's Monster Joystick in the chat oh, right nice. now. Oh, nice. Hi. Um, it's Amiga. Oh, Amiga plus Control. Let's see. Amiga and Control is the mouse click. Let me see. I was always a big fan of like clear casing for anything. Like if I had the option, like if there was like, you know, like a Game Boy that had like translucent or clear casing, I always went with the clear casing. 
Yo, Notorious 500. Oh yeah, Notorious 500. There absolutely are demos on this channel, and I started off the stream with with uh, Gag Rakaka Mind Zones by Disaster Area, which came in first place at Flashback 2015. My man Citrix did the music, so yeah, I definitely uh, definitely play lots of lots of demos. Yeah, it's not control. It's weird. It's weird. I don't know. I don't know. I forgot how to click. If you hold down left Amiga and use the arrow keys, it moves the mouse, but I can't remember like. What what the what the click is? I can't remember what the click is. Control tab. Oh the, oh, oh 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 oh. It doesn't matter. We'll just do this. All right, Ash. We'll start it up. Click is the second joystick fire. Oh, interesting. So now you can um, you can go ahead and, and swap swap the stick there. Okay, cool. Left Amiga, left Amiga Alt is is. Oh, you know what? That key is broken on my keyboard. No wonder why I couldn't get it to work. Um, Cami. <laughs> Sweet. All right, so here we go. Let's let me switch. Over. I'm all discombobulated here because it's not my normal stream setup. I gotta grab this mouse that's down here on the floor, <laughs> and we'll I'll switch over to my my Swiv profile here. Oh damn! Ooh, there we go. These headphones are really good. They're really good, Ash. Yeah, those are Sennheiser HD 650s. Um, okay, so Ash, pr um, press the this fire button there, and um, you're not you're not. Are you, is your Jeep there yet? Press fire. Move the switch here. Oh. I don't know. It, it should be in the right position. Uh-uh. Nothing, huh? Uh-uh. Um, weird. Do you want to just unplug it and plug it in again? Sure. No, you did it right. You did it right. And your, your truck's not there, eh? Weird. Weird. All right. This is off to a little bit of a, a little hiccup in the stream there. So it's not working, huh? Ash? Did you press the other button? Did you press both buttons? Yeah. That's so weird. Um, did I? Let's see. Escape. Let's see. Game over. Let me see. Maybe I have to. Maybe there's some settings I need to do. <laughs> I love the artwork for this. It's the sound is really cool, too. Hit F6. Someone said it F6. Mm -hmm. Try it, Ash. Hit the button again. It's weird. Nothing. It's not, it's not a. Uh... Oh, wait. No. No, see, it says press fire. Uh... Up there. You know what? Let's try a different game. So okay. plug that, you can plug the mouse back in. Okay, cool. Sorry about that one. That's all right. That's the fun of uh, doing this stuff. It's testing it out. Yeah. All right, I'll leave all right. There. we'll try, uh, we'll try, uh, we'll try um, Silkworm. Now, so Swift is a vertical shooter. Silkworm's a horizontal shooter. Don't forget up, down, left, right, left, right, B8, start for 30 players. <laughs> Torque Live, thank you so much for the raid. Yo, Torque Live, thank you so much, Torque Live. Welcome, Raiders. Um, we are playing head to head Amiga games today. Uh, me and Ash said hi. I'm here with the <coughs> awesome guest. And uh, we're also, Ash also just got some Amiga 500s and we're going to test them out on stream too. So yeah. that's gonna, it's going to be a blast. We just figured we'd start out with a little, a little gameplay. Um, Ash, now you can switch again. Switch it? Okay, yeah. cool. Oh, least jams. Oh, there's so, so many mice here and all kinds of stuff. Let me switch over to my, my Silkworm profile. Silkworm has got an awesome soundtrack. Turn the music up. Uh, so that's the Amiga. Okay. How's keep that? Go keep going. Okay. Keep going. Oh, yeah. That should be good. Okay. How's that? Yeah, that looks good. Okay, let's start this game. Ash, press your button. Nothing. Nothing, huh? What the heck? Nothing, huh? Let's let's try. Um, this is frustrating. Let's try. Let's try um, plugging in this stick. Okay. I'm gonna try this. Ooh, I like this. Try that. Press fire. Oh, Ash was on keyboard. Do you have to? Oh, maybe you have to. Maybe you have to slide. It's the top button, Ash. Nothing. That's so weird. All right, let's see. Let's see. If, let's see if there's a, a way to select. Let's try this. If not, we'll just go to Marble Madness. Okay. <laughs> 
All right, hold on here, Ash, let's see. Um, okay, Jeep. Press Jeep or Heli-1 fire button. Press function keys to select controls. Escape the, all right, function key. There we go, okay, here we go. All right, so helicopter is one. Um, Jeep will be uh, F7, let's see. All right, so, uh, ah, stop. I got it now, I, I, we got it. we're gonna play this game, okay. Ash. Okay. I'm all about this music. Alright, so Heli 1 is. Alright, so F7. Alright, that should do it. Okay. I think I think we're good here. Oh! Now press your joystick button, Ash. There you are. There we go. Alright, so so I'm the Jeep and Ash is the helicopter. Oh, I took a hit, Ash. Oh no. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So the Jeep is cool because I can I can shoot like up or or horizontally. Thank you, Amiga Live, for the, the help there. Appreciate that, buddy. Yeah, that was very awesome. Amiga Live's the man. Love that. Oh, whoa. No, 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 no. Yeah, so, oh, I, I'm taking down these these nukes down here. Love it. Watch out, this one's coming up at you, Ash. Oh, no. Okay, perfect. Okay. Perfect. Oh, oh, I guess I have to jump over oh, that. No. I love the graphics of this. This is awesome. This sound is amazing. Oh, oh that's a boss forming. Oh, I see. I'm, I'm going to go under here and take him out. Okay. Oh, oh, man. Oh, these Let's guys. see if I can... All right. Oh! Rip. I don't know. I have to take those suckers out. Let's go here. A little diagonal fire. Whoa. Damn. Oh. And then one thing you'll know, you'll, you'll know, you'll know, um, Amiga games are, are not easy, Ash. The, the, I can see. I can see. Oh, man. I just got destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Actually. Toa Folk, man. What is up, Toa? Oh, my gosh, Ash. We are underexposed. Oh, no. Um, Oh my gosh. Oh, I think the sun's going to Is it soon. possible to switch to this one? Which one? This um, monster joystick? Yeah, uh, yeah, totally. Yeah, totally. Because you know what? It wasn't a, a, a hardware thing. It was um, a, a settings thing. Got it. This will do it. Now, I don't normally plug things in and out when the Amiga's on, but I have the, these are rubber connectors on the end here, so there'll be no shorting happening. Okay, good. Now, your monster joystick should be good to go. Okay, cool, cool. And yeah, it should be good to go. Okay. The Greek stick is hilarious because it's got these suction cups on the bottom, and every time I put it down, I can't, I can't get <laughs> off the floor. Here we go. Oh, the, oh, this is like a uh, uh, magic now. Nice. See, Ash prefers the 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 monster joystick. Go to monsterjoysticks.com. They are awesome. Thank you, Maya. Um, Ma Maya says uh, Ash has such a sunny disposition. Agreed. Agreed. Oh, Yo, Fire Dragon so thirty five. Thank you so much for the follow, Fire Dragon. Ash is uh, Ash is definitely. Ex awesome, super positive person. That's why I really, really love your streams. Aww. Ash, because you, every time like, I put on an Ash said hi stream, it just puts me in a great mood. That really makes my day. Thank you so much for those kind words. And I've got to say the same about your channel. Like, I remember the day that I found your channel, actually, which was like, oh, damn, which was like, it was, it was really awesome. I was looking for somebody who played Amiga on Twitch, and I was like, Hey, who's this Amiga Bell guy? And the chat was popping, everybody was having fun, and I was like, this is where I want to be. And I have been here ever since, and it's been amazing, and I've met so many incredible, amazing people through this community, and I'm so grateful for that. So thank you for bringing that joy into my life. Nice. Awesome, man. Yeah, thank you for, uh, it's awesome to like meet friends on Twitch. That's yeah. amazing. I think you're like the first friend I met on Twitch I actually met in person. Awesome. Yeah, you and Faith in the Glitch. That's amazing. Yes. Yes. I'm, I'm lucky. I'm lucky for sure. Fire Dragon 35 thank you so much for the follow. Um, Yo, I got a double shot here now. Oh, um, so Amiga Live, I'm, I'm the Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I'm the one that needs to be reminded. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, and I, I'm sorry if I missed uh, any chat. It's a little bit hard for me to, look, Ash is just kicking but <laughs> this game is awesome i gotta say Whoa, let's oh, yeah. go. nebula nebula design creator of um iridium said i need to shoot the glowing things on the floor and then and then get the sparkling cloud releases right on uh, right on yeah the sparkling cloud looked like it was like some kind of shield maybe was it is that what it was uh, we'll see. Uh, Ash is just rocking. I like, you know, I like this Ash. I think I could do a stream where Ash, <laughs> Ash plays the game and I can hold it down on the chat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's go, teamwork. I, you know what it is? It's really this controller is so fluid. It's, it's super fluid. It's really nice. Ash, Ash is loving the monster joystick. I so am. what they did, monster joystick, does actually um, those are 
arcade parts. They're Sanwa arcade parts. So it's an, a Sanwa buttons and Sanwa stick. Makes sense. Um, and then he he made the the PCB to control it. And um, he he even makes them with like Raspberry Pis built in. Wow. Yeah. So if you have like a cool Raspberry Pi image, you can just put the Raspberry the the way he built it. The Raspberry Pi is like inside the joystick case. Here we go. I'm That's back amazing. in the game. All right, let's go. Sanwa is high quality stuff. Yeah, um, this is absolutely amazing. It's so easy to control, and it feels it feels like a really great arcade experience. Yeah, the Amiga was just awesome. With it's uh, like I said, it was its arcade ports were just incredible. Yeah. And I love the scrolling here. Yeah. So guys, I'm the Jeep, and Ash is the helicopter. Uh, I'm playing with the Greek stick. Uh, SR Baker, yeah, SR Baker, you like the monster stick? The monster stick's awesome, I agree, and so is this Greek stick. I'm, I'm gonna be raffling off a Greek stick. Um, I have one, it, it got damaged in shipping from Greece, but um, my man DJ Nest is gonna help me fix it and then I'm gonna raffle it off. Yo, rule of thirds, 21 months of su rule of thirds. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you so much for all your support. If, and you know what, that made me think. I think Arnouge hasn't been getting his Amiga Bill goodie bag. So if you're a subscriber or a patron of mine, you should be getting a goodie bag after every stream, like within a couple days. If you're not getting that, like tell me, because all of you should be getting it. If you're not getting it, it could be because you have your Twitch, uh, the Twitch emails might be going to the spam folder or the Patreon uh, might be going to the spam folder. So if you're not getting the goodie bag, let me know. And, I'll, uh, and of course, I'll send you all the past goodie bags as well. Look at that little guy there. Oh, so that's the, it's, it's okay. the boss is forming. Got it. I'm gonna take out the the, the orange minefields down here. Okay, cool. I think you can collect the clouds. They're shields. Got it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Yeah, it's definitely a shield because he just knocked it off of me. Ugh. Oh. Oh, twin. We we can upgrade there, Ash. Yes. I can't grab that just yet. Oh, you got there it. There we go, I got yes, it. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, right in the line of Oh, sight. he took me out. I thought I could shoot. I thought I could I shoot I thought his. so, too. Oh, man. Okay, Yo, no, we got this, we got granted this. Granted 165, thank you so much for the follow, Granted 165. We yes. did it, yes. We, we can punch through the, through, <laughs> through the glass, through the plexiglass. <laughs> I think I might have to open up. I might have to. I might have to um, breach the glass, put on my mask, and, and turn up the the uh, exposure on your camera there, Ash. Gotcha. Look at his background. That is amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> I saw a Baker earlier. <laughs> this is a badass Jeep. Yeah. Someone said I'm not a Jeep guy. I, I mean, I um, I actually I have a I got a Volkswagen Tiguan, so you know it's not. I I, I thought about. I almost got a Jeep. I kind of always wanted a Jeep. Yeah. I always wanted a Jeep. Um. But I went, I went to Tiguan this time around. I, I like the Tiguan. Um, oh, Sep Lemon Amiga says, I can shoot the bigger missiles, but not the small ones. Gotcha. I got a shield. Awesome. We're good. I love... Oh, oh. Now, what do I do with these guys from behind? Oh, I this oh. punk. I gotta, go, I'm, you know, I gotta probably go jump over him. Oh. But how do I get back yeah, there? That's I, the thing. I, yeah. I'll I can't even get it. I guess you just have to avoid, avoid it. it. Yeah. He found that sweet spot, that little mm, rascal. Yeah. Are we on Mars or something? <laughs> yeah, Mar Mars or like Utah. <laughs> <laughs> or, or Arizona. Oh, I got game over. Oh, you can Solid aim the gun team. backwards? Amiga Live? Wait, what? Oh, look at that. You can keep going. You can keep going. See that, Ash? I, if I knew how to play the game, I could have saved us all. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> that's all right. Oh, man. I just got... Oh, all right, here we go. I'm gonna shoot backwards. This gets intense. It's super intense. Oh, are you, are you down, Ash? Yeah, I'm down. All right, let's see if I take this guy out. You know, let me just see if I can beat this boss. You got this, I believe. Woo, woo. Oh, <laughs> Ash. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, we tried our okay, best. Okay, you know, I'm gonna use this opportunity to, to go open up the iris on your camera real quick. Uh, I'd rather it, live on Mars, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't blame you. It's, things are crazy here these days. When you jump and keep shooting, you have bullets coming from under you, so you can destroy them. If you have a shield sparkling, collect another or shoot it. It does a smart bomb. Only smaller enemies will be affected. Gotcha. There you go. Oh, this is beautiful. Now you're rocking, Ash. Uh, Da, da, da. Open up mine. There we go. This is a fun game, Ash. This is awesome. I'm this having is fun. Awesome. Me too. Um, 
Oh, thank you, Nebula Design. That's awesome. Oh yeah, Ash, also, just, um, just to remember, you're wearing a wireless microphone, so in case one of us needs to use the boys' or girls' room, you have a wireless mic on. <laughs> we don't want to have a Jim Carrey moment. Gotcha. <laughs> um, but we did, Amiga's best games were created in Europe. I'm, you know, most of them were. Although, you know, some of the American games here, some of the Cinemaware games, I really enjoyed a lot. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I mean, can't, you can't deny that some of the great games were, were made in Europe, for sure. Thanks everyone for hanging out today. Oh yeah, thank you so much. I'm like having such a blast hanging out with y'all. And um, it's funny because you know, I I love getting together for WOG meetings, and that was it's like our dose of sanity, you know, every week. Yeah. And being that we haven't been able to do that, it's just I haven't seen any of my my Amiga friends, you know. Yeah. So this is like really special that we're able to do this. Yeah, absolutely, totally agree. Oh, Ooh, that yikes. man! Oh man! Oh, I was trying to get underneath the oh, shoot, no. and and he got um he got me. Things are coming. Oh, that, that was that, that was a bad move. That was a bad calculation on my part there. <laughs> this game is this game is no joke. Yeah, yeah there's stuff coming at every angle. Yikes! Oh, they got us at that same time. I looked over there at the chat and I died. <laughs> it's chat's fault. It's always Chad's fault. No, it's always my it's my fault for looking. It's my fault for breaking concentration. Alright, let's go. Fire yes. Dragon 35. Um, there, the Commodore 64 games did not work on an Amiga. They did have a, a Commodore 64 emulator. Um, but it, they're not. It's not like backwards compatible, so you can't you can't play 64 games on an Amiga really. All right, here we go. Razor used to play Silkworm with the friends in your youth. Nice. He's Come on, trying, Ash, you got he's this. Trying, he's trying it. So you can shoot the big missiles, but not the little ones. Oh, a Ash, Ash, you owned them like a noob. There you go. Nice one, Ash. There you go. Yeah, the, vi the visuals in this game are beautiful. They are really, really good. Papa Bear, Arizona. I'm pretty sure there was some kind of 64. There, I thought there was a 64. I know there was a Mac emulator, PC emulator, the implant board. Um, I thought there was there was some kind of 64 emulator, but I don't know if it could play games. You know what I mean? That maybe it could just like run 64 basic programs. I'm pretty there was Magic 64. There it is. There it is. But I don't remember. You know, I don't remember playing Commodore 64 games with the Commodore 64 emulator. Like all my, I never really used the C64 emulator because I had a Commodore 64. So I think um, most of the most of the Commodore 64 emulation that I've seen was more for like productivity software. Because my buddy Al would do the newsletter oh. using um, the Commodore 64 emulator. Oh, upgrade to faster shot. Nebula design, no. Pr Nebula design. I, I'm gonna get up there on the on the Iridium high score table too. I, I promise. <laughs> yeah, DJ Ness says you need a powerful CPU to emulate 64 and Amiga. Yo, granted, granted, one six five. Thank you so much for the follow, Granted. If you're just joining my stream, if you're new to my stream, I'm Bill. I stream Amiga stuff here every Sunday, 2 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Universal Time. And today I am joined by my awesome, awesome friend and coach and fellow streamer, Ash Said Hi. Twitch.tv said Ash Said Hi. <laughs> Ash and I, it's awesome. Ash and I met, met through Twitch. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, it's yeah. so cool. And she's an amazing member of Westchester Amiga User Group. So. You come all the way up to our meetings, it's awesome. Yeah, definitely. Yo, Litwarski, half a year how time flies. Litwarski, thank you so much for the sub, Litwarski. Thank you, thank you so very much. Let's just play again. I, I'm, I'm, we'll, we'll play one more round of the Silkworm and then we'll move on. Sounds good. Steve, yo, um, Steve, thank you so much for the follow. Um, I, Steve Edster, thank you so much for the follow, Steve. I appreciate that very, very much. Um, I don't, I don't know, Ash. You know, I was thinking. I was like, um, now that uh, now that Anthony, you know, isn't around as much anymore, maybe maybe uh, I need a new sidekick on the Guru. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Anything I can do to learn and share, I'm there. <gasps> oh man. Uh, run into the enemies when you have the shield. Oh, thank you, Cammy. Oh, because oh, you're invisible. Cammy, that's a good tip, That makes Cammy. sense. That makes sense. 
Amiga Cami is also a little cameo in, in uh, Viva Amiga. Really? Yeah. And, um, oh, man. Oh, no. Obviously, she, she cosplays Cami like a boss. That's amazing. <laughs> she, her Cami cosplay is on point. Amazing Street Fighter character, of yep. course. Ash, I stink. No, <laughs> there's a lot going on. Oh, wait, all right, all right, there we go. Twin fire. Get nice. your twin fire. Yep. There we go. There we go. It's all about the upgrades. I'm yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm just I'm just messing around, brother Bill. <laughs> I love Anthony. I can't wait. So Anthony and I were supposed to see each other for Vintage Computer Festival East, but obviously that didn't happen. So when when things get a little bit back to normal, Anthony will be back in the mix. Um, Yo, Filthy Pitch, what is up, Filthy Pitch? Uh, my Sunday is going great. I'm here um, streaming with my friend Ash, and uh, we're gonna test out. She's got two Amiga 500s we're gonna test out, and we're, but first we just, once I had my 1200 set up, I was like, you know, let's just play a couple games on the 1200 real quick, and then uh, we'll test out her, her Amiga 500s. Roar, what's up, Roar? Great to see you. Um, yeah, the Jeep upgrade, the Jeep upgrade, I definitely split into two. Um, Roar says hi to Ash as well. Hello, hello. Roar, Roar's an amazing artist. Ash is a professional artist too, and uh, Roar's an amazing artist. He, his uh, artwork, his, both his Amiga pixel art and his paintings are just awesome. That's awesome. Okay. Litwarski, did I miss something from Litwarski? Hold on a second. Roar, Roar, Ash is just kicking butt. I mean, kicking butt and taking names. <laughs> meanwhile, I'm, meanwhile. <laughs> uh, of course, of course. Jiro, what's up, Jiro? Great to see you, Jiro. Um, where, I, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, you rocking me, Cammy. Um, I should play Banshee, AGA Co-op, Naughty Ones, Chaos, oh yeah, I've got, we'll play, let's play Chaos Engine next. Okay. Um, <laughs> the new, I'm just giving Anthony a <laughs> Um, I'm, Litwarski, Litwarski might have said something and I missed. Um, Litwarski, yeah, year and a half, that's awesome. Um, I'm trying to, um, Oh, uh, oh, Litwarski, I hope you're feeling okay. I hope you're feeling okay, Litwarski. Um, health, health is the most important thing. Yo, Hardcore PL, thank you so much for the follow. I wonder, I wonder, Ash, I wonder if the, the PL is for Poland. It could be. If, if Hardcore PL is from Poland, Czech. Dziękuję bardzo for the follow. I speak a little Polish because Alexander is Polish, obviously. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. I've been to Polish, Poland, I've been to Polish. <laughs> I've been to Poland like uh, about 17 times. Wow. Actually. Yeah. We go every year to visit our family. That's so, awesome. Yeah. We skipped a couple of years, so that's yeah. why 17, but yeah. yeah. Um, um, Ash is better to me games than me. <laughs> I, I, you know, I'm not, I, no, Ash no, is better, no, Ash is better. No, I got, no, yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> Uh, Bill's doing the important part by reading the chat. <laughs> Hi, Shershak. Hi, Shershak. How are you? Oh, is that is that is that your Shershak commentator? Oh, yeah. Shershak is Polish too. Czech Shershak. So you can talk to Shershak. I'll teach yeah. you some Polish words. <laughs> Sigur. Hi, Sigur. It's so good to see you. Sigurborn, what is up, buddy? Um, the Jeep is harder to control. Thanks, Amiga Live. Thank you. Um, what is up, everyone? Um, that's so cool. So yeah, so Chest, Chest is hello. Chest. Chest is okay. hello. Yep. Um, Yakshamash is how are you? Yakshamash. Yep. Um, Dub J means good. Dub J. And Barzo Dub J means very good. Barzo. There you Dub go. J. Okay. And Pivo is beer. P oh, that's the important that's it. one. Yeah, that's all you need. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So do you want to try a little Chaos Engine? Yeah. All sure. All right. Sweet. Thanks so much, everyone, for hanging out. I'm having so much fun. Oh, we're gonna have to do a little switcheroo ski. Oh, yeah. sorry, yeah. Derp. Uh, in case you're wondering, so Ash and I are in the same room if you're just joining the chat, but we're trying to, you know, we're trying to be, play it on the safe side, and we're socially distanced, we're about six feet apart, and we've got plexiglass between us. So <laughs> that's why I can't, we can't be in the same shot, because my lens, I would need like a, an eight millimeter super fish eye lens. Yeah. So instead, I just went to dual camera setup. I think, I think it's working pretty well. But we are in the same room, just far apart. <laughs> um, How old were you when you got interested in Amiga? So my father, his Amiga 500s are behind me, and obviously he had those, I guess, when they first came out in 1984, 1985? 87. 87? Yep, the 500 came out in 87. So, I mean, I was still a little kid by then, like not even really able to play the games, but I grew up remember remembering watching him play and it just kind of carried through my entire life because, you know, 
you know, he would put it away and then we'd bring it out and like play Dungeon Master or whatever. And nice. like, you know, periodically and he'd show me all his floppy disks and stuff like that, which I did bring some with me. So pretty much my whole life, I would say. That's awesome, Ash. Um, yeah, I think we'll do We'll play a little Chaos Engine and then we'll check out your, your dad's Amigas. Okay. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. Um, so it's so cool that you grew up with Amiga, though. You had, you know, your dad there to, yeah. to show it to you. I yeah. mean, so what else? So, but you're a Nintendo girl. You know? Yeah, yeah you're, absolutely. Yeah, NES is your jam. Absolutely. Did I grow up with Deluxe Paint? So I have some, um, some carts of Deluxe Paint. Um, but he did have the Atari, um, the, the, the sketch pad. You know? Oh, a koala pad? Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. So we had one of those, too. Um, so, but he did create digital artwork in digital paint. So I got to go through those diskettes and see oh, what's on there. Oh, you have to recover your dad's artwork. Yeah, yeah. it's, I, I have all of them. Oh, wow. So I'm going to go through it and see. But he, he loved like, Rob I remember he did like some Robotrek stuff. No, and, do you have yeah. with you? Not with oh, okay. me, but that's definitely something that we, yeah. we will go through okay. and look at. But, Very um, cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, Litwarski, I hear you, man. It's, um... I oh man, I understand. I'm glad I'm glad you're on the men's, dude. I'm glad you're on the men's, and I'm glad you're. Streaming is not easy. Streaming does take a lot of effort and energy. It looks like you know, to a lot, some people may do just turn on the stream and play, but like for my streams and your streams, like we both prepare a lot. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Papa Bear loves Dungeon Master. I have beaten Dungeon Master before. It's a really tough game, but it's one of my favorites. I love dungeon crawlers. Um, I know they can be like kind of difficult to get into, especially if you don't have like the mapper. Yeah. You know, but we used to like draw our own maps, you know, like I have um, graph paper full of like all the maps that he used to draw. So oh, wow. Really that's, cool. that's really special yeah. that you have that. Yeah, you used to have to use the, the graph paper. Now, I, last week I was playing a new dungeon crawler. That, I remember. Yeah, that my friend Jeremy, he's the publisher of. Yeah. And that one's got the map built in, so it's, it's easy. <laughs> that is awesome. That is awesome. <laughs> that's Shadows of Sergoth coming out from Double Sided Games. Um, where can we see your work, um, Ash? Uh, Roar is asking. So I... You know what? I don't have a lot of my work posted online. I should incorporate that more in my Instagram. You should, yeah. So yeah, I will definitely do that so you all can see for sure. Because I did, I did go to school for illustration and I also went to school for vis uh, graphic design and um, I studied advertising as well. So um, I do have a lot of digital work that I need to put up somewhere. Oh, yeah, yeah, you need to do that. Instagram would be a good spot for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yo, five-card draw. Oh, that's five-card draw is a really good one. Agreed, agreed. Um, sweet. Um, I, think, I think it's time to play a little Chaos Engine. So Chaos yeah. Engine is by the Bitmap Brothers. Mm -hmm. It's a, a classic, like, cyberpunk top-down shooter. Um, it's just it's so much fun. <laughs> I can't wait. Um, oh, that's hilarious, Sigor. Um, I know you, you do, you have to, these streams take a lot of preparation, a lot of preparation. And you know, like I prepare as much as I can and sometimes some things fall through the cracks and of course, yeah. whatever falls through the cracks always bites me in the butt <laughs> on the stream, always. But that's the fun part. That's when you get to like, you know, shoot the breeze with people right. in chat like, oh, we gotta fix this, okay, mm -hmm. so, you know. <laughs> All right, so um, I think you can do the old, the swap -a there. Cool. Oh, and I, I need to do this. I can show you a couple of pickups I got this week, too. Uh, some, I got some good stuff here, Ash. Awesome. I can't wait. <laughs> I'll see. So the aspect ratio of Chaos Engine is a little bit different. So I got the overhead camera there, <laughs> which I see. Yes, I didn't really set that up. I didn't frame it up before the, before the stream. Chaos Engine, baby. Here we go. I love me. I love me some chaos. This is amazing. Listen to that music. It's so know, good. So good. Let me adjust this sucker. Look at that, look at that beautiful 1200 though. I mean, that, that's, oh, this thing is so a, good. a work of art. <laughs> look at this artwork. Talk about artwork, the artwork in this game Ooh. is stunning. And it's um, the inspiration, um, a guy named Wayne Ashworth is an amazing, amazing artist. He's making uh, the art for a new game that's coming out. Um, and he used this um, this artwork as kind of like the model for it. It's also a top-down shooter, mm -hmm. uh, and it's uh, he's heavily inspired by the artwork in this game. It's just awesome. Racer, hello. What's up, Ty Racer? Great to see you. Um, what's, how's it going, everyone? Um, Tim the Baron Tyler, what is up, Tim? Great to see you. Thank you for stopping into the stream. It's a pleasure to have you here. It's a pleasure to have everyone here today. Um, so it's showing you all the, the characters that you can choose from. There's this a bunch of different characters, yeah. Awesome. 
I think it, the music may be a click loud, Ash, so where it says Amiga, uh, just slide it down a little bit. There we go. Cool. Um, this was a state-of-the-art game. I, I love it. It's so, I mean, the artwork's amazing. Let me uh, pull my chair a little closer. We're slowly sliding backwards. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's one thing, like, in my setup, too, is, like, the wheels and the tram always, like, yeah. uh, uh. moving around. <laughs> um... Yeah, I was well, I was talking to Ash about the Mister, and Mister is a really really cool uh, device. Yeah, yeah. I want to learn more about that. It's really it looks like it's really cool. So this game is cool. Like it's always two player, um, but but if you're by yourself, you can play uh, with the CPU as the as the other player, and it, it works quite well. But this we're, we're lucky we have actual two player. I'm psyched. <laughs> awesome. It's funny because I've been playing this game so much on Amiga Live that like actually playing it with someone in the same room is pretty it's pretty awesome. Okay, so um, I think I'm player one because I'm enjoying the port. Oh, maybe you are player one. Let's see. Oh, I'm player one, yeah. Okay. So um, I'm going to, you know, I think I'm going to be mercenary because he's the bald guy. Okay, cool. Let's take <laughs> or a gentleman. I'm also, I'm also a gentleman, but <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going mercenary. Uh, and each, um, each character has got their own special, so he's got a bomb. And they have a different, a different weapon, as you can see. So gotcha. I'm going mercenary. All right, um, cool. And now you can... All right. I don't know who I'm going to pick. They all look pretty cool. I think I might. Oh, this guy, he's winking at yeah, me. Gotta you go. go with him. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You always get the computer player killed on purpose. Oh, Ram, that's hilarious. Oh, no. Your mister gave you some smoke, Comatron? No way. Yeah, Head Crash 24. I was thinking the same thing. There's no female character. That's a bummer. That would have been cool for you to, if you had a female character. To oh, select. true, yeah. true. Good choice. Thank you, Amiga Live. All right. Here we go. Oh, right. this is dope! Yeah, yeah, oh, this is such a good one. So, sometimes what I usually do here is um, when things get hectic, now you pick up those coins, Ash, and when you get the coins, you can, you can buy stuff. Like, oh. uh, what, you, if you want to do something where like you take right side, I take left side. Or, Sounds but, good. Yeah. Love it. Did you get some, you gotta make sure you get some coins. You can have that one if you want. Oh. And uh, I think button two, if you have it selected properly, will will be your special. So you have dynamite. Got it. Um, oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, thank you, Captain John. I appreciate that. You know, I, I love to have um, folks like in, you know here in person on the stream, and this was good timing for Ash and I uh, to do it. We've been talking about this for a very long time now, like over, like well over a year. Yeah. And then we're gonna do it like over the winter, and then you know we, we all know like what happened, <laughs> yeah. so we couldn't. Fortunately now things in New York are, are, are pretty good, knock on wood. Uh, yeah. So we're like, you know, let's do this now and we'll make sure we do it the right way and do it safely, you know? So yeah. That's why we got the plexiglass up and all that jazz. So it's like being at the nail salon. <laughs> yeah. I, I just did a commercial for a nail salon, so I'm, I'm dialed into all their safety measures. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Um, they wanted to do a three player game, it's too complicated. You can, you can do, uh, you know, three, three player games. Dynablaster has like six players. You can do that on, on Amiga Live. Mr. Cola, my man. Hi, I, Mr. Cola. Mi Mr. Yeah, no, you can't blame the lag, exactly. The game plays like a dream, exactly. Mr. Cola, your stream last night was so good. Uh, you and DJ Psycho are awesome. I had so much fun on your stream. It was it was great. But, I, you know, I had to call it uh, quits early because, you know, I, I needed to get my rest because I knew, I knew today was going to be intense, you know. <laughs> um, okay, so, Ash, I can respawn you. I think I can respawn you soon. Let okay, me, cool. If not, I'll just wipe and then so you can play. Gauntlet 2 is a cool four-player experience. I'll just um, focus on chat while uh, yeah, until I get respawned. This is awesome. I help with chat. <laughs> That's great. The game plays like a dream. Awesome. Yeah, it's really, really awesome. Like the the sound is really good too, and I'm really, I really love like the color palette of this. You know, it's it's. You, nice, you nice know, looking game. Someone did, here I can get you in. Someone, before I get you in, I'll tell you the, um, the story. Someone, you know, uh, Doom, obviously, they have the GZ Doom and people do all these mods for it. Mm -hmm. And someone, like maybe a year and a half or two years ago, they did a Chaos Engine version and it was perfect. Like they got the maps like on point. They That's only did awesome. the first two, the first two, the first level. Was the first level the first two levels? Yeah. Um, but it was on point. It was like, it was perfect. Yo, Max Shadow Bat, thank you so much for the follow, Max. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. Giro, Giro Lamo, regards from Italy. Oh, hello, Saka, Saka Nakao, hello. It's Bitmap Bros time. How yeah. are you? Um, 
Do I plan to play Yo Joe? Oh, Tie Racer? No, no, I didn't. I didn't. Um, oh, yeah, I, I, I played this game head to head uh, over with Amiga Live with Maya. Maya's in Germany, and you weren't that bad, Maya. Come on, you're good. <laughs> Give yourself some credit, Maya. <laughs> Um, Maya t turned me on to this game um, called Hugo, which oh. was, I don't know, I played it on stream, and it's, it's interesting, it's a multiplayer game, mm -hmm. but the way they used to play it um, back in the day was uh, over the phone. Oh. So like the way you would play it head to head, like, actually like, you have to like dial a phone, it's, it's pretty That's wild. That's pretty cool. <laughs> you know, Yo Joe, have I ever, I'm trying to think, I played Yo Joe, so there's some goodies down here. Um, Ash, let's go get them. Let's get them. Yes. Oh, there you go. Yeah, nice. get, 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 you can get, you can get it. Oh, I like the voices. The voices are awesome. Oh, it's, I got a nice gun. Oh, awesome. Um, no way. Roar, I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that. Five car draw. You know, maybe I, Yo Joe. I'm going to have to try some Yo Joe. I don't, I don't have it queued up, unfortunately. But I don't remember. To be honest, I don't remember Yo Joe. Nice. Yeah, the, 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 the dynamite wipes everyone on the screen. Yeah, go for it, Roar. I would love it. Thank you. And Roar, can you also send it to me um, in a private message too, just so I have it? Whoa. Oh no. So we have to shoot these guys here to open the door. Okay. There you go. You shoot the one. There you go. And we out. Let's go. Uh, Amiga Kami says uh, this is one of the best two player experiences on the Amiga. And Amiga Kami, I, I agree totally. This is this is one of my all-time favorites. Um, so here you can, you know, you can, um, you can use the money to, oh, to upgrade. Oh, sorry. No, no, we're good. We're good. Thank you, Roy. I want to check it out. I agree. This, I think this and maybe Lotus 2. Maybe I, I should have played some, when I should have had Lotus 2 going. I didn't think of it. Because Lotus 2, um, <laughs> is a split screen. The way I usually play Lotus 2, Ash, is, mm -hmm. um, you can connect two Amigas together. You can use what's called a null modem cable, mm -hmm. and you you put both zero you plug it into both zero ports, one on each Amiga. Mm -hmm. And with, so what Lotus Two lets you do is, you know, I would be on my Amiga mm -hmm. full screen, mm -hmm. and you would be on your Amiga full screen, obviously in the same room, connected by a null modem cable, and then you like you race against each other. What? It's awesome. But if you only have one Amiga, you know, like we have here, then you have to do it split screen, mm -hmm. which is cool. But I mean, on a, like a small Amiga monitor, the 13-inch Amiga monitor, mm -hmm. um, it, it can get pretty small. But yeah. that's why when we used to get together for WOG game sales, um, everyone would just like bring their Amigas, and then we'd connect them with normal modem cables oh, and play it head to head. It was awesome. Gotcha. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, Roar, I'll definitely, I'll definitely check it out. Yeah, I'm really happy that those monitors I found are working that too. That's awesome. Oh man, I, I literally almost cried when I plugged it in and it turned on because I was so worried because of them being in storage and just anything could have happened in the house. But when it turned on, I was like. Yeah, it's so important to keep these old CRTs going. I actually was talking about that on Mr. Cole's stream last night. Mm -hmm. Like they're gonna, they're they're not gonna last. And right. the fact that you have some working ones is really great. And when they do break, it's important to fix them because mm -hmm. if you throw it out, like they're, like they're not, no one's making new CRTs. Right. So eventually, the supply is just gonna be gone. They're gone, yeah. And the real, the real, the best way to play a lot of these games is on a CRT because there's like no lag and the like the LCD is nice, but these games were really designed to be played on CRT. Yeah. There's just something about the way that it looks on that screen. That's just, the it pixels. feels warm, you know? Yeah. The pixels, oh yeah, even the flicker. <laughs> oh, I'm dead, Sorry. Oh no. Yeah, Sigur, you know, I wonder, I wonder, Sigur, I wonder if someone will start making the CRTs again. I hope so. I feel like the way, like, you know, people are spending money, like, you know, nostalgia is a big thing, you know? So I think I think there would be somebody that at least would do some kind of small batch run of something. It would be cool. It'd be very cool because they are. Uh, there's nothing like the CRT. Yeah. And that's one of the reasons why I love getting together in person for the WOG meetings because we all play on CRTs, you know. Mhm. Mm um. Oh wait. Oh, that was your last. Okay. So I'm just gonna. I'm gonna wipe. Okay. I'm gonna wipe. You know, we, Ash, we didn't write down the code. We didn't write down the code, so we'll have to start again. That's which is fine. <laughs> it's no problem. Uh, I, I need to find the enemy here so I can wipe. Um, Bomberman was huge on the Atari ST because the built-in MIDI allowed daisy chaining. Oh yeah, Locust, you know what else um, is really, really good? For that is MIDI Maze. MIDI Maze is a good one too. The warmth you feel is radiation. Nice. 
Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true, true. Fire Dragon, um, yes, you can you can get the you can get the CRTs fixed and have the caps replaced. Um, there's a, a person here in New York uh, named uh, Ian. Ian is in the Vintage Computer Society. A Vintage Computer, what, wait, they used to be called March. Now they're called VCF Vintage Computer Federation. Mm. They're the federation that puts on VCF East. And Ian Primus, he does all the um, the CRT repairs for the club. He's he's awesome. Um, Dusted DDK, the phosphor color blending. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> and the flicker. That was the one thing. The flicker, thi yeah. The thing about Amiga, man, when you went to like high res interlace mode, there there was a lot of flicker. Yeah. A lot of flicker. That was one of the downsides to it. And then you know later Amigas like the 3000 came with flicker fixers built in. Mm -hmm. Or as Jay Miner, the father of Amiga, he doesn't like to call them flicker fixers because mm -hmm. he said if you call it a flicker fixer, that means something was broken. Broken. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he called it a line doubler, which it was too. Um, DJ Nest, you got your monitors recapped and the flyback restored. Oh, oh, very, very nice. Um, uh, 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 uh. Oh, um, Maya's gonna play some some Wheel of Fortune with her boyfriend after the stream. Yeah, I, oh, I sent it to her. I sent her. It's um, the the uh, Gluck Gluck Glusk Rad. I don't know how to say it in German. Gotcha. <laughs> but she used to play that on her Amiga when she was growing up. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. <laughs> Um, that was cool. I had the C64 and 128 used the Commodore monitor. See, that's what I did too, Fire Dragon. I used the Commodore monitor to play Nintendo and Super Nintendo. The I Commodore monitor was really good. Yeah. My friend still has the Commodore um, 1702 like in his in his kitchen, and he still uses that. Like somehow he still has his cable TV like hooked up to the, the CRT. Awesome. It's, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, this is still going. All right, let me just die here. And we'll do one more round of this, and then, and then I think we'll, we'll take out your Amiga's Ash. Sounds good. Thanks, everyone. for Yeah, what's up, Hark? Great to see you, Hark. Thanks, everyone, for hanging out today. I hope, I hope you're all having a good time. I'm uh, having a blast. I'm having a blast, too, Ash. It's so, it's so cool to, like, hang out with a friend. Yeah, <laughs> like, absolutely. Um, I don't know how to say that. Gluck, Gluck's grand. You used to, oh yeah, um, Fire Dragon. It's amazing how expensive things uh, were back then. Like when my dad bought me the Atari 800, like the, the computer, the Atari 800 was like almost $800. And that was in 1980. And then the, and the floppy drive was like $400 for the floppy drive. It was insane. What? Yeah, it was totally, totally nuts um, how expensive the, <laughs> that stuff was. Wow. And the, the floppy drive was, was key because if you if you were loading off cassette tape, it took a really long time to load the game. Mm -hmm. And the floppy drive just sped everything up so much. Gotcha. Of course, cartridge was the best, but not everything was available on cartridge. Mm -hmm. Um, All right, so I'm gonna have to clean mine up when I get home because I I found my my dad's Amiga 800, so I gotta clean it up. The uh, Atari 800. Yeah, the Atari. Oh 800. wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the um, oh you you, you want to see um, Speedball 2? I got Speedball 2 ready to go. Oh yes. Yes, we can play that on your 500 when we fire it up. Yeah. For some reason, it works on the NTSC 500. I think it plays a little fast, but screen the whatever screen resolution they use also works on NTSC. Um, Amiga Sun wants me to say a, a word, a word uh, in German. Um, oh God, Captain Amiga Sun, Amiga Sun, you, 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 uh, you. <laughs> um, stri, 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 cola, zish, achen, stri, col, stri, striko, zish, achle, lechen, stri, cola, zach, achle, lechen. <laughs> That's brutal. That is a brutal one. Is Dungeon Master my favorite Amiga game? It's definitely in my top five. I would say Eye of the Beholder is probably like number one or Lemmings, you know? Or, yeah, I would say, yeah, probably one of those, definitely. Nice. Um, Lemmings is one of my favorites too. It's just so good in the music, and it's just, I don't know, like I really love, you know, like, it's sad, but when you set all the living stuff... When you nuke them, it's the best. <laughs> oh no! Roar wants you to name your top 10 Amiga games. Okay, so let's see. Um, Dungeon Master, Eye of the Beholder, Lemmings, Shadow of the Beast, Barbarian... Um, let's see... Uh, oh man. That's five. I can't think of anything else. Marvel Madness, right? Marvel Madness. Yeah. Maybe Defender of the Crown. Oh, good one, good one. Yeah. Um, Arkanoid, maybe. Arkanoid <laughs> definitely would be up there. Um, 
Obliterator is a oh, good one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Obliterator is a great Psygnosis. Yeah, that's yeah. a good one. I love, like, the Psygnosis games. Yeah, they're still yeah. good. Killing Game Show. Awesome. It's a good one. Um, Ash knows her stuff. Yeah. She knows her Amiga. <laughs> um, when uh, Dr. Goggles ever play Point and Click Adventures, when you think of me, you think of them. Oh, so Point and Click Adventures, Secret of Monkey Island. Oh, my God, yeah. yes. Yes. Um, of course, like a King's Quest, Space Quest. Yes. Leisure Suit Larry, like one of my all-time yes. favorites. Yes, <laughs> I do have King's Quest. Yeah. No, uh, King's Quest is amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah, and uh, I'm gonna play Dune when the movie comes out in December. I'm gonna I play Dune. I remember when yeah. you first showed that yeah. off. I just, I thought the music and the visuals were so stunning for that game. Yeah. So yeah. good. I'm so excited for the new movie. It's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome. Yeah. Um, uh, how brother, brother Bill, when he was stationed in Germany, had a German girlfriend. He had a rough time pronouncing German. Um, oh, oh, um, Pithy, um, Pinch, Pithy. I can't. It's hard for me to pronounce her name. Uh, Pithy Plinch, Plinth. 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 Thank you. I, uh, he remembered. Uh, Pithy Pinch remembers playing Another World for the first time. I, we can we can play that too. I've got Another that. World yeah. is a really yeah. great game. Yeah. yeah. You laughed hard. I'm glad, Captain John. Where, can you hand me the picture of Captain John there, Ash? <laughs> you can slide it under the, under the plexi. Thank you. <laughs> Look at these guys. Captain John and Amiga Sons. How awesome is that? I love this photo so much. It's so great. I keep it I keep it on my desk and you know every morning before I, uh, before I get up and start the day I, I see I see Captain and the Sons and it fires me up for the day. That's so awesome. <laughs> um, Blood Witch, Captive and Hired Guns. Oh yeah. Oh Hired Guns is a crawler. Awesome. Cannon Fodder is a great one too. Great one. Zach McCracken and Maniac Mansion, Lord, yeah, classics. Um, uh, Maya, refresh, refresh. We're, we're good, we're good here, Maya. We're, so, uh, refresh, I think it might just be on, uh, you might need to do a little refresh. Flashback is a good one, too. <gasps> Flashback is yeah. so good. Yeah, it's yeah. really good. Of course, Captain, of course. Zach McCracken, originally a Commodore 64 game, got it. You want to do one more round of this? Or you want to fire, bust out your Amigas, Ash? Maybe. We could. Um. What? How good are we on time? What time um, is it? I don't even know. I well, we've been streaming for one hour and seventeen minutes. Okay. So um, it's three seventeen. Maybe it's time to check out your Amigas. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. All right. Should um, I plug this out? So I'm gonna turn off. I'm gonna turn that Amiga off. I'm gonna. Um, let's see. Let me navigate. I'm gonna navigate over to my PC here. I'm gonna turn on some some music on the PC um, awesome. because I'm gonna turn off the Amiga. Um, let's see, I can go over here to this uh, little profile. What do we got here? Boom. Um, there, we're back. Sweet. Nice. Hi. <laughs> I'm going to switch over here to the PC side. Hello, everyone. <laughs> um, oh, oh. Uh, I, I never played that one, Amiga Live. Nice. What's um, the, some, some people in chat tell me some of your favorite games? Maniac Mansion. I play. I failed in Maniac Mansion. A lot of culture and joy. Oh, <laughs> hello to you too. <laughs> no, um, yo, Pixels at Dawn Gaming, dude. Thank you so much for that resub. That is amazing, Pixels at Dawn. I hope all you're well. Um, thank you for the support, Pixels at Dawn. Pixels at Dawn now watching ad free. He gets the emojis, and of course, the most important part, he gets the Amiga Bell goodie bag after every stream. Thank you for the support, Pixels. Dude, I love Prince of Persia, Bobby Zeal. I love it. Rampage was a lot of fun. Yep. Um, oh, yeah. Prince of Persia. I have the Beholder 1 and 2. Yes. You know, I'm currently playing through I have the Beholder 2, and I'm up to the Silver Tower, and I'm in this part where you go into the, like, there, it, there's, like, all these Beholders in the level, and then you have to go through, like, this secret wall, and you can't see anything around you, and I need, like, an auto mapper for it because I'm getting lost. That game is hard. It's hard. Um, I, you know, it's interesting, Ash. I was never, I was never that into uh, the dungeon crawler. So, that m mad respect. Mad well, you know where it comes from is because um, my dad was also really into advanced dungeons and dragons. Like, I have all of the first prints of like Dungeons and Dragons, like D, like the Dungeon Master Guidebook, the Monster Manual, and all that stuff. So, it's something that I also grew up with. So because it uses like the similar rules and like, you know, plays in like, you know, like the same universe, that's why those things are like so personal. 
Oh, that, very, very nice. That's yeah. that's awesome. It, my dad and I used to play a lot of Atari 800 games together. Yeah. So my dad's a real Atari 800 guy. Oh, so I was going to tell you about the Atari 800. Yeah. Um, two of the designers of the Atari 800, Jay Miner and Joe DeCure, mm -hmm. also went on to design the Amiga, the original Amiga, the 1000. Oh. Or it was just called the Amiga back then. So yeah. it, I didn't know it. So like my dad bought me the 800. Yeah. And then you know, our favorite computer after the 800 was the Amiga. Mm -hmm. I and mean, we didn't realize that we were like following their path. Oh. But it, it, like I found out, you know, years later that uh, Jay Miner also did. Atari as well. That's so that awesome. That was really cool. Um, Use the true seeing spell to see through the false walls and eye of the beholder. Thank you, Lemon Amiga, for the pro tip. Um, I, I do, that. I do, I do have two of my um, Amiga Live and Locust. Yes, Ash is definitely invited to the post stream picnic. See, they all know that Alexander and I go on picnics after Yay! every stream. <laughs> of course, she's invited. Um, Unfortunately, Alexandra isn't feeling so great. She had a case of vertigo this week. Mm -hmm. So um, we're going to do something after the stream. I'm not sure what. It's something pretty low key because Alexandra, like, she got up in the middle of the night and, and I heard her. She's like, the floor is not here. And I'm like, <laughs> and I was, I was like what? <laughs> what do you mean the floor? <laughs> she's, she's like, and she's like spinning around the room. I'm like, what yeah. is going on? Turns out she had vertigo. Fortunately, she's okay now. <laughs> oh my God, epic. The clip of Ash opening a door and getting spooked. That was in Eye of the Beholder 1 when there were all these Kenkus in the room. It was literally like 30 Kenkus and I was like, nope, 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 nope. That was a good, that was a good memory. That's a good me memory. Um, Roar likes Banshee, Another World, Lotus 2, Agony, Project X, Can Fodder, Shadow of the Beast, Wings, Rough and Tumble, Double Dragon. Double nice. Oh, you have I, a, yeah, I have show, Double yeah, Dragon. Grab, grab that. Yeah, you know what? Let me pull some of those discs out so I can show you all what I brought with me. Oh, sorry. I forgot the fan was there. Oh, no problem. <laughs> we have we have lots of barricades in this room for safetyness. <laughs> Cadaver, yeah, Cadaver is good too. Turrican, Sep. I don't know. Oh, uh, Katakis. Yes, yes, Sep. Awesome. Okay. We gotta make sure my hair looks good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. I never I never have to worry about that. So that's that's a new that's a new thing for me. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Cole, I've, I've got a pity here as well. Okay. Let's see what you got there, Ash. All right, here's what we got. So we got Shadow of the Beast. Uh, you know what I can do? I can go to the overhead shot there. Oh, can, yeah, good idea. Yep. We got Shadow of the Beast here. Oh, my God. So cool. I love how they, they printed it right onto the floppy disk. Yeah. These are the um, floppies that my dad made his own labels for. So we got Barbarian. Oh, I love Barbarian. I bet you that's the Psygnosis version of Barbarian. Yeah. We got Marble Madness. That's awesome how your dad made those labels. Yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> and let's see, we got Revenge of Defender. This one I just pulled out randomly because I was like, I don't know what this is. I never saw it. Revenge of Defender. That's wild. So I'm going to bring that. <gasps> Golden Axe. I love Golden Axe. I brought this Ferrari Formula One. Oh, Ferrari Formula One. I love Ferrari Formula One. It's so good. Yeah, I didn't know. I love your dad's clip art. That's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> double Dragon. Here we there go. There you go. There's a double yeah. dragon. Yeah. Let's go. Nice. I love that this is on a, a white floppy, too. Like, you know, you got the blue ones, the gray ones. Of course, you know, I had to bring a gauntlet. Nice. Oh, yeah. Defender, Defender is Star Ray. Oh, got it. Got it. And then we have Defender of the Crown. Awesome. Thank you, Bro Art. Thank you so much. Babbage's, yeah, Fire Dragon. My, uh, I used to love going to Babbage's. It was in the Galleria Mall. We had a Babbage. Yep. I remember <laughs> Babbage's, yeah. Charles Babbage uh, invented the, uh, what the, he invented some sort of, the, I can't even, oh my God, the original computer. That, well, they used to say he invented the original computer, but then it came out later that, you know, he actually did. And I forgot, what was it that, he, that they said he invented? I can't even remember. I'm so, so dumb. I can't, how can I not think of this? Jim Sachs' artwork is the best. Nice. Um, Babbage made the mechanical adding machine. That's what I was trying to, like the abacus, right? <laughs> the difference machine. Thank you, Andy Beast in UK. The difference engine. That's what it was. Mechanical programmer computer. Never finished. Thank you, uh, Dusted. Thank you. So, Ash, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this on. Yeah, exactly, Oram. Oram, that, yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're an awesome duo, Leech. Thank you so much for those kind words. I appreciate that. Oh, thank you, Legion. I appreciate that. Um, uh, uh, oh, 
I'm, th I'm reading Locust. None of your parents were into computers, so once you had your Amiga 500, you got in touch with a friend who was into Commodore, and he introduced you to an amazing person who was a teacher and had a huge Amiga collection. He shared lots of knowledge uh, and a lot of amazing games. Most importantly, he told me to learn English so I can appreciate all of what the games have to offer. Oh, that's amazing. So. So Locust learned English because of Amiga. That's incredible. Oh, incredible. That's so cool. Lionheart. Lionheart yeah. Nice. Babbage invented the Chaos Engine. Hilarious. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you know what too? Like my mom, she still plays a lot of games. Like she has a PS4. Nice. And she loves like Horizon Zero Dawn and Sekiro and she plays like Bloodborne and Dark oh, Souls. That's All, so like cool. those hardcore games. I'm like I don't, I can't do it. I don't know how you do it, but she loves it. I love Bloodborne. It's one of my favorite PS4 games. Yes. It's so good. I'm oh like, I, whenever I go to visit her, she's like, I hate these bosses, but I can't <laughs> stop playing this game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bloodborne is all about the boss fights. Yeah. It's, I, but I love Yarmouth, like the whole world that it puts you in. Mm -hmm. Oh my, it's great for like Halloween time. It's so mm -hmm. good. I love it. Thank you, Dr. Goggles. I, I was gonna, I know, may I put on my Westchester Amiga user group hat as well. We got, I got an old school walk hat from like the 80s. Nice. Yeah, Legion, I, I agree. Mom's, um, uh, Ash's mom does sound amazing. Cool I parents. I appreciate that. Totally, yeah, Ash's got really cool parents. Anyone who's into Amiga and PS4, like, that's that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> you know you're addicted when you're ugly crying as you play it. No, it's so true. <laughs> Yeah, um, oh, actually, Brother Bill, can you shout out Ash? Because Ash is, that's how I met Ash through streaming here on Twitch. Yeah. And, uh, and it's just, it's awesome that we met through Twitch and now uh, in Westchester Amiga User Group together streaming here. It's awesome. Yeah, I can't, I can't say enough how grateful I am. Seriously, I've met so many amazing people through this platform. And I'm just happy to share all of this gaming joy, you know? What's up, Scene Cat? My man, Scene Cat gave uh, Alexander the name Wife Device, so he's the one. He's the one. That's that did a good it. one. You know, I also gotta say, by the way, these drinks she made for us oh. were amazing. Yeah, she made that. That's um, watermelon, watermelon, banana, peach, and mint. <laughs> I was just like, oh my god, it's the best, the best, and the chocolate too. Oh yeah, her chocolate's amazing. Yeah, we get every time anyone comes to my house gets treated to some chocolate and mm -hmm. good organic vegan food. Mm -hmm. Yo, um, Ugo Rubelli, thank you so much for the follow, Ugo, and uh, welcome to the stream. I'm Bill. I stream Amiga stuff here every Sunday, 2 p.m. Eastern, and I am next to my great friend, Ash Said Hi, who also streams here on Twitch. Today we're doing a co-stream. Um, Ash, you stream multiple times per week, right? I do. I stream on Tuesday and Thursday at 9 p.m. EST and on Sundays at 12 p.m. EST. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I know, because uh, you uh, a, lot, a lot of times you uh, when I go to start my stream, I say, "Oh, Ash is on." <laughs> <laughs> it's usually for Sunday, Sega Sunday, and then during the week we do Nintendo, or we can do DOS, or we can do you know PlayStation One, like anything, anything, whatever, as long as we have fun. That's the most important part. Yeah. Um, and hopefully you'll be doing some Amiga soon. Uh, yeah. Yes, that's <laughs> why I want to make sure these things work, and then we can get into some games. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, so. We're gonna take a little, a little break from the games right now. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna turn on um, Ash's Amigas and see. Hopefully, fingers crossed, they work. You know, I'm putting on some, uh, some Hoffman. This is Hoffman and Citrix. So Citrix did the music for the first thing we played, uh, for the first demo we played. So this is a collaboration they did, Hoffman and Citrix. Awesome. And uh, I'm gonna disconnect my 1200, and uh, we're gonna turn on your 500 and see. See how it goes. Scene Cat, I have always wanted to get into MSX. I watch a lot of people play MSX, and the game selection is just so vastly different from anything that I've experienced growing up. I really do want to explore that. And that's why I also think this Mr. thing is cool, too. Um, are you into the Genesis? So here's the thing. I never really played Sega games growing up except for the Sega Master System because that I had um, as a kid. But the Genesis, like Dreamcast and all that stuff, like I never had exposure to. So that's the one of the beautiful things about being able to be on Twitch too and sharing this stuff with you all is that I can experience a lot of those games for the first time because I didn't grow up, like I said, with... Genesis, so I'm starting to play through this now. Like yesterday, I did Alicia Dragoon, which was so fun. And we beat Toe Jam and Earl and Sonic 2. And I was playing um, um, Streets of Rage 2, which is, I didn't think I would love that game as much as I did, but it's amazing. So I'm getting into all that stuff now. Ash is a baby Genesis girl, yes. 
Atomic, thank you so much for the follow to Bill's channel. Thank you so much. Thank you, Atomic, for the follow. And Glenn Ponder 45, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. We're getting we're getting ashes. Uh, you know, hold on a second, Ash. Let's. I want to see what my levels are like here for this. Okay. Oh, they can't hear the PC sound. I had it muted. Sorry, everyone. That's okay. I'm gonna start the song again though, because it's such a good song. Yeah. You love reliving your Genesis days through. <laughs> oh, Leech, thank you so much. Hi, Rave Man. Hello. I'm. Um, thank you. Thanks to uh, oh, Audio Detective. Thanks. To, thanks to all of Ash's followers who are following me. Oh, yeah. I, I usually I usually stream Amiga stuff like 90% of the time. Every now and then I'll I'll vary it up a little bit, but. Amiga's my jam. Yeah. I'm Amiga Bill, I got to. <laughs> I mean, honestly, you can't go wrong with any of the content on Amiga. There's just so much, and there's something for everybody there. And just like, if you like the graphics, if you like the music, the gameplay, whatever, you're gonna find something that's awesome. Here's your Amiga, Ashley. Check it out. This is your, this given to you by your dad, your 500. Yep. Uh, right. Um, it's not in terrible condition. It's got some yellowing, but that's to be expected. Yeah, it looks really good. I, we already opened it up, and um, she's got a, she, so the Amiga 500 came with 512 megabytes of RAM, and the most common upgrade uh, underneath the Amiga there's a trapdoor, and you can slide another 512 meg in there for a total of one megabyte. Um, and so Ash has got it. Now the tricky thing here, like with this Amiga, um, your 512k uh, RAM expansion has a battery on it, and most likely the battery is leaked. And if the batteries leak, there's a good chance it damaged that RAM expansion and the Amiga won't work. So if the Amiga doesn't work, we're gonna pop that RAM expansion out and then it'll probably work. You only have 512K of RAM, that's okay. And the, the battery on the Amiga 500 is really only for the clock and the date. So you can run an Amiga 500 with no battery, it doesn't matter. Oh, you just it. it just won't keep the date. Got it, okay, cool. Good to know. Uh, 512K. Oh, did I say megabyte? Did I say megabyte? <laughs> um, I, I probably said, I think I said it came with 512 meg. It came with, yeah, exactly. Thank you, thank you for me, Cammy. It, it's hot in here. <laughs> I might, I get, I'm getting old and my brain just goes funny. Um, all right, Ash, let's see what's this. Uh, I need to plug that mouse in. So this is, okay, so this is gonna go in here. Okay, so I'm gonna plug this out. Oh, your dad, your dad labeled everything very nice in uh, in dark black ink. You can see it there. That's amazing. That's cool. Good. Uh, we are gonna plug in the audio. Are you liking the tunes, Ash? I love the music. Hoffman's so amazing. Good. So good. My Maya goes like I, I love the stream when you were fanboying over Hoffman. <laughs> I'm just like yeah, I was, I was. I'm a I'm a huge Hoffman fan. What can I say? All right, and you know I'll, you know what the heck? I'll plug in the Greek stick too. Awesome! I'm super excited, everyone. I have never turned this on before, so I don't know what to expect. You know, I should, my, the switch, the power supply is, is oh, hold on, it's not in good, a good frame here. Let's slide this over a little bit more this way. Make sure everyone can see, see your machine. There we go. Now, Ash, I think you should have the honor of turning it on. Oh you know, I think God. I think you need to flip the switch. Okay. Even though know the switch is here, I'm gonna feed it over to you. I appreciate that. You need to flip. Flip the switch. I think I got enough hose here. Whoops. My light fell down. Okay, I think you can reach that. Yeah, definitely. Um, but let, let me switch over before you switch it on. Let okay. me switch over so we can see it. Yo, Legion. Leech, thank you for that. Thank you so much. For, thank you so much, Legion. I appreciate that. So all my subs, obviously you get ad free viewing, that's part of Twitch and the emojis. But then I give you all an Amiga Bill goodie bag at the end of every stream. It's got demos in it, pictures all the Amiga news that I talked about. Uh, we didn't do any Amiga news today, but that's okay. <laughs> you'll, you'll, get, you'll get a nice little Amiga news section. Um, the, the, um, the PSU is set to, yeah, it's set to our NTSC region. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, wait, that's a good question. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is for, this is, yes, it's fine. We're good. We're good with this supply, for, uh, power supply. I've powered up my Amiga with it many times. Um... Nice Legion. So Le Legion is one of uh, one of your followers, Ash. Yes. Yo, Dome Dags, what is up? Great to see you, Dome Dags. Um, 
<laughs> Jira, Jira wants Ash to dance. This is a good. This is a good song to dance to. Oh wait a minute. We, um, you know, I don't know this XM player so well. I, it just repeated the song. Let me go to the next one. Um, Volter X. Okay, so this is a really, really good question. Um, yo, no way. Yo, Gabora, thank you so much for the subscription, Gabora. I appreciate that. I didn't so realize I wasn't hosting. Oh, you weren't hosting. I That's okay. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no worries. No worries. Well, thank you for the host, Ash. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> um, so, so we're talking about NTSC and PAL. So basically, here in the Northeast, here in North America, um, we have a video standard called NTSC. And uh, you know our TVs are NTSC. It's a, it's based all based on the electrical power. So we have 60 hertz, mm -hmm. and it's all it's all based on that. Um, and in Europe they have PAL. PAL is based on 50 hertz because they have a different power system over there. Um, and for as far as the Amiga goes, um, Amiga NTSC Amigas ran a little bit faster because that 60 hertz. Um, but they didn't have as much um, resolution. So if you take like a PAL, something that's in PAL, and put it on an NTSC Amiga, it's going to run a little bit faster, and you're not going to see the bottom of the screen because it's got those extra lines of resolution. Gotcha. So um, yeah, it was kind of a, a it was kind of a deal back in the day. It was a little bit of a problem, uh, but these days it's much easier to deal with it. Mm -hmm. um, most monitors can take both NTSC and PAL, mm -hmm. and the newer Amigas like the 1200, you can switch mm -hmm. between NTSC and PAL. But, like the original, like my original 500, mm -hmm. um, it was it's NTSC only. There's ways you can upgrade it. But the original one that you got couldn't do pal. Yo, Bobby Zeal with the 150 bits. Thank you so much, Bobby Zeal. Thank you so much. Um, never, never twice the same color. Pal is better. Amiga Solar Gamers is hilarious. Hilarious. I gotta say, as the first time I saw, um, oh, Legion is, is a fellow mod in Ash's chat. Yes, awesome. yes, Legion. Yes, yes. And France had Ccam. Yeah, I never experienced Ccam. Um, five card draw. The Amiga 600, if you have the, the, um, the fatter Agnes, you can switch. Um, so it's, it's possible to do it. Um, but you know, the Amiga 600 was not a machine that was popular here in the States either. It was like 500, 1200, 1000, mm -hmm. 2000, like I got over there. But the 600 and the 500 plus were more European. Um, so Ash, do you want, do you want to give this a try? All right, let's do it. Um, hold on, let me, let me switch over so we can see it. Um, let me switch to uh, NTSC. There we go. All right. So, fingers. Oh, wait, I, the music. We got to. We gotta get. Uh, oh, we'll play some Unreal. Unreal, a classic Amiga game. All right. Let's see. Yeah, with the Fatter Agnes, you also need to have Kickstart 3.1 exactly, Brother Bell. It's all right. It works. Oh my God! <laughs> awesome, Ash. The, it's alive and well. Look at that. <laughs> Yo, I'm legit about to cry. Do it. It's, it's, oh it's my amazing. God. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. That means we can play Amiga games. Yes, yes, you can play Amiga games, Ash. That's awesome. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, you y'all have no idea. Like that, it just you know because it's like you know everything that I grew up with. It's like. A my dad living with me so yeah. it's like you know it's like Aww. it's just really 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 amazing to know that it still works and oh. um i can share this stuff with you all that's really awesome. so awesome i'm so happy for you guys I'm it's so, so cool okay oh, that's what should we do <laughs> that is huge well yeah. we we'll probably want to pop in one of the discs yeah let's but, try and check this out this is pretty i mean i know it's kind of interesting um you have a green a green power light on your 500 yeah so different different reversions of the motherboard are different color LED power lights oh. so some are green some are red depending on the revision oh. and the uh, i think i've Mine was green too, I'm pretty sure. So your dad and I probably got it around the same time. So wait, does that mean that the battery part that we were worried about not working is fine? Um, it's, a, it's an excellent question. Um, at the moment, it's fine. Yeah, maybe, but what we probably want to do is, we'll do it off stream, we probably want to open that up and take the battery off. Okay, cool. Yeah. Before do you have damage. a floppy drive head cleaning disc? I do not. I used to Amiga Cami, and I do not, because that's the other thing that could be uh, problematic with the, with the Amiga, mm -hmm. is the floppy drive could be dirty. Mm -hmm. um, if that if that's the case, or your, let's say your floppy drive doesn't work, mm -hmm. it's okay because you can get a floppy drive replacement. It's, a, it's called um, a GoTech, and it basically lets you take a USB stick and you can put floppy disk images uh, on the USB stick. Got it's it. not the end of the world, but there's nothing like like the floppy disk. You know, so got let's it. let's pop something in. Um, All right. Let's, let's see. see what you got. Let me change the. Oh, maybe we should start with Marble Madness. A little Marble Madness. Okay, that yeah. sounds good. Do you have? Um, so you know what? Let me let me plug in 
my, this is my, this is my joystick plugged in? Yeah, my joystick is plugged in. Cool, so we can, we can do it. I'm so excited. Okay, so I just put this into the side here. Put that on the side yep, so you're going to, um, yeah, so, so basically what you see here, in this is so, the Amiga has what, these kickstart ROMs, right? It's kind of like the, um, the heart of the Amiga. It's the instructions that get it started. And what it's telling you now is it, it already loaded the kickstart ROMs, and now it's telling you to insert Workbench. And Workbench is the operating system for the Amiga. Wow. Uh, but you don't have to insert Workbench. If you have a game, you bypass Workbench, and you just put the game in. I see. OK. Is Rayman on the Amiga? <laughs> Ash is dying to play. Very funny, Leech. Very funny. <gasps> Please insert, wait, oh, what? It, oh it, my God, it's working. It's working. <laughs> Look at the sound. Marble Madness unable to load disk validating. Okay, so it, it looks like, okay, so you're, the, it couldn't read the disk. Okay. Um, so that either means the disk is bad or the... Um, the right protection it, is it, on. Oh, maybe. Um, or it could be a bad floppy. Okay. So you know what we'll do? Let's pop that out. Okay, just press the button. Uh, now, if you look, yep, if you look over there on my shelf. Okay. Um, I have an original copy of My Old Madness. Oh, right here. Yep, so we'll try that one. Okay, cool. Um, and let's turn this off. We'll reset it. It was an assignment missing. Yeah, the, the caps are, are a big issue um, um, with like a Mia 1200 for sure and, and 4000. Um, all right, yeah. Can, so this disc is also starting to fail because it's starting to fail on my Amiga too, but we'll probably, hopefully it'll work. <laughs> okay. Well, we got tons of other games we to try too. We got plenty of other games to try, but we'll, we want to figure out if, it's, if that was a bad disc or a bad drive. Gotcha. Um, it, it looks like it was a bad disc, which is great news. Yeah, which is great news. Awesome. Um, that is just awesome. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Hit, hit, uh, yo, what's up, Sukes? How's it going? Sukes was the gaffer on our commercial, Ash. Oh, yeah. hi. Hi. <laughs> Great to see you, Sukes. Um, Retro Ralph, you picked up an Amiga 1200 this week. That is just awesome. Check floppies behind the metal lid. Okay. Oh, like. Oh, the actual disc itself. That's a good like point. Like that? Yeah. Um, Ooh, let's try okay. it. Let's try it again. Oh, hit, just hit, hit, uh, hit retry uh, with the mouse. Oh. This mouse? Oh, the the joy is the is it plugged in? No. The mouse isn't plugged. Let's see. Oh on. yeah, see it that's is empty down there. Oh, got it, got it. Okay. Sorry. Great to see you, Sukes. I hope all as well. <laughs> okay. It could be a dirty floppy head. Oh, there we go. I believe it'll be a dirty yeah, I think Amiga Cami's right. I think it's a dirty floppy head. Unfortunately, Ash, I don't have a head cleaner. I'd have to we have to stick a swab in there. Okay. Um, let's try another one. Okay. It's probably a dirty head. Do we have to turn it off? Um, yeah, we'll turn it off and reset it. All right. Um, let's try, what else do we have over there? Um, hold on. You I can just take that whole pile. Just grab that whole pile. OK. Let's see. We got demo reel, demo reel. I know, Sigur, I, really I really need a cleaning disk. Um, Defender me, of the Crown. Yeah, let's pop try it that. In, sure. So when you have two disks for a game, it tells you when to pop it out and swap it. It tells you when to pop it out and swap it, or you, you know, uh, one of the biggest upgrades for uh, Amiga 500 was an external floppy drive. Right, and which I have, have one. You have one there. I do yeah. have one. Um, which is it's key, like having a the the internal drive is called DF0 and mm -hmm. the external one is called DF1. Gotcha. You rather so Amiga. So how do you guys clean? How do you guys clean the uh, the floppy drive? You, you just take like a cotton swab and alcohol and put it in there. Try blowing the floppy out with air. He's right. He's right. Really? Defender. Uh, okay. So far, it's reading Defender of the Crown. Okay. Interesting. All right. I love I love the blue color of the operating system. Me <laughs> <It's> too. <so good. gasps> You had three external drives of your 500? Nice, Sep. Nice. Cleaning this. Always, they always worked for me, too, Amiga Cami. I need to find mine. I just love, I love the sound of it working. It's so good, right? <laughs> Turn that up, Ash. Oh, my God. Oh, so we got to put the second disc. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, Now, cool. This, uh, we could plug in the external drive and see if that works too, but let's, let's do that. Okay. But just swap it for now. That's cool. 
Oh, DJ Billy Ness said the expansion's not working. He sees 512 kilobytes on the workbench screen. That is, that's a very keen observation right there. So I bet you there's battery damage on it. Got it. Did you pop in the second disc? Yeah. Uh, maybe click the mouse button? It seems like it's thinking. But it's not accessing the drive. Oh. I agree, Jiro. I'm so, Ash is so pumped. I'm so happy I'm for so you, Ash. Happy. This is really good, Ash, because you know there's a lot of Amigas that just won't even power up. So like we're in good shape here. Yeah. You they, know what we should do, Ash? We should plug in. The, I know this. Let's just use my external drive. Sure. I know it works. And let's start again. I, it's weird. It kind of got hung up. Um, I'm pretty sure. I don't think Defender of the Crown. I mean, I needed one megabyte. I don't think so. Um, I mean, just the fact that we got this far is huge. Is yeah, because that tells me that it's not past the point of no return. Yes. So maybe just some like cleaning and just some TLC, and we'll be we'll be on our way. Okay, so I'll take. Uh, we can, we'll bring disc two over here. Okay. You pass it to me under the plexi. Perfect. I thought so. Cinemaware used to call all their their games like real one and real two, as if it's like a uh, a movie real, like a film real. Um, what TV monitor should I get for my new twelve hundred? Assuming ten eighty fours aren't easy to come by these days. Retro Ralph. Um, it's a great question. Do you want a CRT or an LCD? It's it's, it's grinding away. Sometimes I need to reset this uh, for some reason. I don't know. Look at that, Ash. Nice. Okay, so click one first. Yep, that's disc one, and Defender two is disc two. So we're gonna start with Defender one. The mouse is super sensitive. Which yeah, is cool. yeah. Yeah, you can dial that in. It yeah. Definitely, I got it. that's because that's a laser. That's a, an Amazon laser mouse that I connected to the 500. You know what I remember? My dad used to have the mouse have a trail. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this music, though. So good. Swapping. Swapping, <laughs> <That's hilarious. laughs> Swapping floppies to play Defender of a Crown hit me in the nostalgia bone. See, now we made it past because we got both this to it now. And fun fact, this Defender of the Crown, this actual copy of Defender of the Crown we're playing is my friend from college, Ben Miller. And Ben was actually one of the other, the only three people who have streamed with me, like in this room, you, Ben, and Anthony. Nice. So yeah. <laughs> in the, the year artwork. of our Lord, 1149. <laughs> oh, so, look at me, silly me. Welcome to the club, yeah! Now, Ash, we, I have to um, show you how to get all the proper hardware so you can stream from it. Okay, we'll, awesome. We have to talk about like what you have and then... Because the, uh, the composite output on the Amiga 500 is black and white, mm -hmm. so um, you have to use the RGB port. Okay. So uh, I'll help you with that. So yeah, choose... Choose, uh, choose a character. Wilfred of Ivanhoe, Cedric of Rotherwood. Uh, I think I'll go with Wolfric the Wild. Oh yeah, go wild. Yeah. This is awesome. And these Cinemaware games, so Cinemaware was a publisher back then, and they, uh, they made very cinematic games, hence Cinemaware. Mm -hmm. And they, were, they relied heavily on the, on the extra, external floppy. Ooh, look at this. We got animated fire. Share Wood Forest. Here you visit your old friend Robin of Loxley. Many years. Oh, damn. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Sometimes, I know, it happens to me all the time on stream. I'm always like trying to read and then it, it messes up. <laughs> oh, all right. So what do we do? I guess I pick Yo, Castle? Retro Coder TV, thank you so much for the follow. So this is like the splash screen and the idea is you're supposed to like take over um, the, you know, the whole UK there. <laughs> gotcha. So, um, you know, wow, you know, I haven't, uh, you're, you're blue up there on the top. Oh, this I haven't one. played this game in so long. Um, so what you can do is you can build up your army and then you want to start um, taking over land. So right now, so at home you have 12 mm -hmm. and then you, you want to make a campaign army. So like you have the home army that stays home and defends your castle. Uh -huh. And then you have the campaign army which goes out and attacks other castles. Oh. So you want to keep a few people at home and a few people on the campaign. Yeah, um, hold on. Thank you, do some jousting, right. 
Uh, oh, thank you, Roar. I'm, I'm, thank you so much. I'm so glad. Yeah, this is a really great moment. <laughs> Wait, I did not mean to put all of them in the campaign army. Yeah, you want to keep, keep a couple um, back home. Wait, how do I make Maybe right mouse button? Nope. Oh, well. That's odd. It, really? Well, um, we'll see what happens. So set forth the campaign army? <laughs> Uh, yep. Go raiding. All right. No, no, you don't want to raid yet. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, you, I guess, I think you have to, I think before you can raid, I think you have to, like, conquer the lands, you know, on the way to the castle. Oh. Oh, we can hold a tournament. That sounds fun. A little jousting tournament. Nice. Oh, look at this animation. So the, the, oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, and that, that is, a, oh, wait, maybe. Let's tr hit retry and see what happens. All right. Come on, baby. It's thinking. Real hardware experience, people. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Is it right protected? That's a good question. Um, I think it's a little hung up here, Ash. Can yeah, you, I think so, too. Can you too. Um, pop it out? Sure. And let's see if it's... So, um, take a, like, flip it over on the back. Mm -hmm. um, and it is... It is not right protected, which is the way you want to do it. Okay. I think your, your, your drive probably needs a little love. Cleaning. It needs a little Amiga love. Okay. Um... Defender account was notorious for its copy protection methods. Yeah, that floppy drive needs a good cleaning. I agree, DJ, DJ Nest. Um, but you can raid in the, on the end of the stream. <laughs> raid, <laughs> raid the castle. <laughs> let's, let's reboot. Let's, let's reboot. And okay. It's kind of hung up right now. So when it stops making noise, is a clear indicator to be like, okay, is this hung up or not? Yeah, it just wasn't doing anything. You know, like, if it just doesn't do anything, it's hung up. But like, if you see it, see when the floppy drive light comes on, then it's, it's trying to read it. Got it. Okay, we're, we're making progress, we're learning. This is great. This is great. At least we got the boot. I mean, the, the, the That's boot, yeah. the most important thing, honestly, for me, just the fact to know that it, it turns on and it can work and that we can work with something from there. Yes, Amiga Live, it does have a 512 expansion board and I, my guess is that the battery leaked and it's not working. Mm -hmm. Does it work if you put the disc to the external drive and only use Oh, that's, a, that's drive. a good question. That is a good question. Imagine saving your day job work on a <laughs> floppy disk. I, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Amiga 1200 Gamer says the floppy is one of the easiest parts to replace and upgrade. Nice. As long as the machine is healthy. He's totally right. Yeah. Yeah, we get Lord Overflow. That's a good question. Is there another A500 that will be tested? So I do have another one. But that one is absolutely in worse condition. I don't even know if it's worth. No, we're testing. gonna try it. Oh, yeah. yeah we'll okay, it. we'll try. Okay, we'll try it. So you can hit the left mouse button to skip it. I'll skip it. Yeah. The super frog floppy. So yeah, we're gonna have to clean that drive. And it's funny. I like Amiga Cami. I used to use a, a floppy disk cleaner back then. But I don't think I can't. I don't know where my floppy disk cleaner is anymore. So mm. we'd have to do it manually. Yeah, I'll be super careful. I don't even want to use RetroBright on this. Like, I don't want to do anything like cosmetic. Just keep it working and make sure that it's safe. DJ Ness says, I believe the second A500 will work just fine. Those Amigas are like zombies. Hi, Uchpa. Oh, what's Hello. up, Uchpa? Welcome in. Happy belated birthday, Uchpa. Yeah, it's so good to see you. Welcome back to Twitch. We're so happy to have you back. Sep, it, do it doesn't. No, it doesn't. I'm just going to have to pull it out. <laughs> Ash, you're... Uh, yeah, it's so cool because we both have amazing, amazing people who come to our streams. Oh, absolutely. So, like, your community and my community are so cool. <laughs> they're, so, they're, so, they're so nice. Absolutely. I can't agree more. Oh, it, it's got that error. Yeah. You know what? Maybe they're right. Maybe... Maybe we should try putting it in, in drive two. Okay. Pop it out. But I think it, but I think it crashed, you know what I mean? Because it's just not even trying. Yeah. You can hand it under the plexi to me. It could have something to do with the RAM, too, because I, I, this floppy drive works totally fine. Amiga Left says you'll need a cotton swab, alcohol, some WD-40 on a cloth to clean any gunk on the head. So do you literally have to take the drive apart, Amiga Live? Um, <laughs> it's weird. All right, let's try another game, Ash. Okay, um, what's good. up, Spaceman 21st Century? 
Um, mm, I guess you, that you one. You want to try a little Death Shadow of the Beast? Oh, let's yeah, do it. let's do it. So, yeah, so this is disc one. Yep, um, and this and is disc, disc two. two. Yeah. Okay. I like these clear ones. Those are cool, right? Yeah, yeah. those are nice. Um, and Ash, we're not gonna, so I guess you know you can try playing Shadow of the Beast with the Greek stick. <gasps> the Greek stick is good to go. Yeah. Now the Greek stick is is extremely strong. <laughs> <laughs> like wait until you wait until you feel how heavy this thing is. Don't I drop can't. it on your foot, otherwise you will your foot will lose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna come around this way with it, and then and then we'll go under the plexi. Sweet. Perfect. Oh, this is yeah. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's substantial. <laughs> the it's Greek nice. stick. Don't joke around. You can take out. Uh, oh, that's out. I think. Yeah, it's right? out. Put that in. Oh, that's a good pr that's a good point, uh, Lord Overflow. I could we could change it. To, well, you know what? It, it's a very good point, but I think we'll just um, try another game because we already saw a little bit of Defender of the Crown. Yeah. Um, good evening to you, Spaceman, twenty first century. Welcome to the stream. Um, uh, <laughs> that's hilarious, epic. Um, Retro Ralph, I I I love the Greek stick, and I love. Um, the Greek stick and the monster joysticks are my two favorite. So this is called a crack throw, Ash, um, it, it, slash a trainer. So it, some of the games are really, really hard, and uh, people would crack them to make them easier. Um, so it's, we definitely want to play the intro. We 100% want to play the intro. Okay. And you know, we can do, do you want to do unlimited energy, or do you want to just try and play it like it, like it's originally intended? Let's do unlimited energy, because I know how hard this game is. OK, so now you actually have to use the mouse. Scroll down to where it says Shadow of the Beast. OK. And click, yep. This is so exciting. <laughs> Ooh, thank you, Brother Bill. Thanks. For, so, Brother Bill just dropped a, a floppy drive cleaner. Oh, nice. Thanks, Brother Bill. <gasps> yes. The Psygnosis, like, logo and, like, I just always loved the logo and the owl. Like, it's so good. And the music to this game is amazing. Oh, so good. Th that's hilarious, Epic Android. I mean, it, but, you know, it's, it's, um, the demo scene came from Cracktros, so that you were not alone there. Whatever happened to Psygnosis? They're owned by Sony now. That, so there's a new Shadow of the Beast that is available for the PlayStation 4. It's amazing. I, I personally, I think it's a great game. Really? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh. You got this music as your ring, ring Turn it up over there, Ash. Oh, man. Turn it up. There you go. Sorry. Okay, here we go. No, it's good. <laughs> Vibin. It's so good. The new Shadow of the Beast on the PlayStation 4, I, I really like it a lot. That was my first stream ever. Really? Yeah. When That's it, awesome. The launch day of Shadow of the Beast for PlayStation 4 is my first stream ever. Mm -hmm. I love that. Story. That's I uh, the um, Roger Dean does all the artwork for the Psygnosis game covers. Mm -hmm. and he's an amazing artist. Mm -hmm. Amazing artist. David Whitaker did the music, yes, um, W-R-S-C-R-W, and he's incredible, incredible. Um, oh, really? Brenry, I'm a hot topic on among TH the Nordic discords. Cool. <laughs> they buy up old crappy games, but they also own Gianna Sisters. Cool. Tell them I said hi. <laughs> Yes, Roger Dean is the man, Gabora. Roger Dean is incredible. He's brought, yeah, and then um, David Wicker, Rob Lowen by Chris Hulsbeck. Chris is going to come on my stream one of these days. Chris is, is, is uh, the patron of mine. I'm really honored to have Chris. He, Chris Hulsbeck does like so many classic uh, game um, soundtracks like Gianna Sisters. And, oh. Yeah, so many, so many. Turrican, he did yeah. all Turrican music. Oh, nice. Now this is interesting, Ash. I, I did not have, to, <laughs> I didn't put in disc two, but I, I think Shadow of the Beast may not recognize, some, not all games recognize the DF1, the, X, the next floppy. See, it's not even reading it. Okay. So this is, so you're gonna have to put this into Sounds DF0. Yep. Okay, cool. Okay, And then Resistance, press Future Crew were some of your favorite demo scene groups. Oh, I love Future Crew too. Renaissance, sorry. John Baker is great too, Legion. Yeah, totally. Beast One was the hardest game in your childhood. What's up, Bud Bundy? <laughs> I love some of the names. They're so yeah. good. Yeah. Oh no, what's that? Weird. It's, it'll be fine. That, that, as you can see, there's a little anomaly happening in the background there. Interesting. Hopefully it, will, it won't be on the game. 
Beast 1 was like incredibly... That, that's one thing that people used to say about Shadow of the Beast is that this game is more of a demo than an actual game because the graphics and the music are so good. Yeah. But they didn't love the gameplay. Got it. Um, I didn't love the gameplay back then either, but now but you actually can... The game is playable. Like, once you learn the game, it is playable. Yeah. It's very hard, but it's very, it is absolutely um, uh, playable. Bitplane's crossed up a little bit there, exactly. Future Crew is awesome. I love Future Crew. Um, <gasps> oh, that makes sense, Amiga Cami. We're actually playing. Oh my god! All right. Uh, just uh, uh, this is the most beautiful part when you run to the right. Spider. What's up, Spider? Thanks for the raid. Thank you for the raid, Spider. Great to see you. Um, welcome, yo, Lighter One. Thank you so much for the follow. If you're just joining the stream, uh, I'm Bill. Welcome to, to our stream. <laughs> I'm co-streaming today with my great friend Ash. Said hi. Who also streams on Twitch. Um, but today uh, she came up. To, uh, up my way to uh, test out her Amiga 500s. She has two Amiga 500s that um, were passed down to her from her dad. And right now we're playing some Shadow of the Beast on uh, on Amiga 500 number one. Welcome Raiders, thank you so much. I just thank can't even begin to tell you how happy I am to know that we're playing on this and it's working. Like, it's so good. So obviously, Ash, you, uh, you don't have the right key there. So yeah, yeah. You're gonna have to oh, go back up. Oh, so we have to go back up. Yep. Man, look at these graphics. And the music is just so good. Five card draw, you prefer Shadow of the Beast 2? Shadow of the Beast 3, I think, has actually got the best gameplay of them all. Yeah. Shadow of the Beast 2 has got the best, best death music when you die. Yeah. It's a uh, sample some music from Miami Vice. It's so good. Oh, it's nice. the best. I played Shadow of the Beast 2 just so I could like rock out to that. And I, I would record it on my cassette player. And, uh, it was, it's short. It's only like less, like less than a minute long. Yeah. And I just kept playing the game and just like I just had a whole cassette just of like the death, the death music for awesome. Shadow of the Beast 2. <laughs> um, Shadow of the Beast 3. Shadow of the Beast 3 is great. Yeah, agreed, agreed. Uh, go up and die horribly. <laughs> well, we, we, got, we do have the trainer on, so. Punch, punch. Oh! You got him, Ash. Nice. Yo, I love it. It's just like one punch. I love how things like scroll in the background as well. It's called parallax scrolling, and yeah. the Amiga was a lot of Amiga games had were so good at it. And the uh, this this game was a pioneer of it though. I get no one scrolled like this uh, until Shadow of the Beast came out. Got you. Oh no, we're gonna die if we keep standing there. What's up, ZX Becky? Yo, um, Specky, what's up? Locust Ash Ash carried the Amigas on the train. She took the train here. Oh, we're, okay. we're, the train ride was actually really beautiful. It was nice. Does okay. this predate Altered Beast? It's a great question. Um, I don't remember what year. Al I, that's a great question. I'm, I, I, I don't know Legion uh, 2183. It's a great question. Um, what's up, Milo 8000? Just oh. the word Amiga. Well, it's funny because um, they, they knew what they were doing. Um, I mean, Amiga means friend, obviously, male friend, I mean, female friend in Spanish. Um, and that's, it's a very friendly computer made by some very friendly people. <laughs> <laughs> yes, DJ Nest, Ash is playing with the Greek stick. You showed DJ Nest, they'll be pumped. There he is. <laughs> it's working great. You love running Amtrak? Nice, Locust, yeah. We have, um, we, um, we live close enough to the city, like, so Ash could take the subway here, but she took Metro North, which is, which is a little bit nicer, it goes a little bit further north. Yo, look at these eyeballs. The, the artwork is crazy, right? <laughs> um, lovely 16 bit graphics, yes, Dr. Goggles. Um, oh, so, um, Sakanato. When we were playing Chaos Engine earlier, that was on my real Amiga 1200. So there was no no emulation, no net play. Like we we are both sitting. We're in the same room, so it may it might look strange, but um, Ash and I are in the same room. However, we're socially distanced and we're we're separated by plexiglass because we want to you know we want to be safe. Be safe. Yeah. So um, so we're we're both using the same Amiga, but we have extensions on the joystick ports, and so we're like we're like six feet apart from each other. <laughs> so if you know it's the same room, it's just like we're far apart from each other. <laughs> oh, I can jump. I didn't know that. <laughs> You want to make a jump kick? Oh snap. I did not know that. All right. Exactly, Brother Bill. Exactly. The New York Metro is... The public transportation in New York is awesome, Lucas. Yeah, Spider, we, Ash and I are together in the same room. And the reason why we're together, well, besides it being fun, is because um, Ash got some Amiga 500s passed down to her from her dad. And uh, we're testing them out to say to see if they work. She's never turned them on, and never. we're we're playing with her 500 right now. Yeah. I'll show you. I'll show it to you. Um, 
There it is, right there. There's your 500, Ash. Ah. Rocking it out. <laughs> So, Ash, there's a, there is a one little tip I can give you in this game. Okay. You actually want to go left. When you start the game, you want to go left first. I didn't oh. tell you that because, no, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> but, I, but the most beautiful part of the game is that, is that scene when you're running across yeah. um, the field. So I, want, I wanted you to experience that. But just for future, because I know you're going to be hooked on Shadow of the Beast. True. Uh, True. You, can, by the, you can take these Shadow of the Beast with you if you want. So you can, <laughs> you can play them at home. <laughs> the game is totally insane, Jiro. I agree. I agree. Um, I need the torch before going into the castle. Oh no! You don't. You guys don't understand the real magic. Um, I yeah yeah yeah. I, Brenry, I do I do know that. Yeah, and the Mia Kami is incredible. She's she's just awesome. I love a Mia Kami. Um, yeah, I know, brother Bill. You really don't need to uh, to retro buy. Oh, you, right, oh Rami. Yeah, she didn't get the torch. Ooh, what happened? I don't know what's going on here, Ash. I don't know what's going on. It could be a disc. It could be. It could be a few things. Yo, Coconut eighty one. <laughs> Thank you for the resub, Coconut. I appreciate you so much, Coconut. Thank you. Thank you for the resub. Maybe it's it. it I feel like the, something happened. Something happened. Well, you know, let's try another game. Okay. Yo, Ken. Thank you for the follow, Ken. I appreciate it very much. Welcome to the stream. Um, if you are just joining the stream, I'm Bill. I stream Amiga stuff here on Twitch every Sunday, 2 p.m. And today I am joined with my great friend Ash said hi, who also streams here on Twitch. Um, yeah, together today we're actually together in the same room, um, but it, it doesn't look like we're in the same room because we're far apart from each other, separated by plexiglass. Yeah. Um, but we're in the same room because Ash brought her Amigas for me to try out, and so far so good. Oh, you can use IRC commands in there too. Nice. Um, hi, Emil. How are you? All right. Yeah. Maybe let me. Yeah, we'll turn uh, this off. Yeah, we'll turn this off. We'll try another game. Um, right. But that's that was cool. I mean, I think your drive needs a little love. It's kind it's kind of coming back to life though. Yeah. Do you want to try uh, one more game, then we'll try your, your other Amiga? Yeah, let's do that. Let's see what the... Um, one of your dad's discs? Yeah, let's nice. see what this Ferrari one is. Ferrari Formula One's a good one. It's got good music. Yeah, hopefully this will work. Yes, I yeah, the original one did come with a great t-shirt. Sanzian said that the original Shadow of the Beast, it came in this rectangular box with Roger Dean's gorgeous artwork. Yeah. And um, it came with a t-shirt in it, and I used to wear that t-shirt all the time. I actually have the Shadow of the Beast 2 t-shirt. No out. way. Yes. That's awesome. I'm so yes. jealous. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of jealous of your Arkanoid t-shirt, too. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, I put the disc in. Yep. Okay, I'll turn it on. I do. I do have Cannon Fodder Milo. I do. Um, I think there's a way you could probably do it, Amiga Cami. I think there's probably a way. Um, what did you pop in there? I can't even remember now. Oh, the Ferrari one. Oh, Ferrari Formula One. I'm gonna go back to this. Um, this is gonna, that's the whole that's the overscan. So that shows you everything that the Amiga's out, outputting. But usually it's just gonna be more in the center. So like when I stream an Amiga game, I crop it to the the right size of the game, whatever resolution they have the game in, mm -hmm. so it fills up more of the screen. But I'm just giving you the maximum right now. Gotcha. Oh, we have to check out the Nimtech demo reel, too, if you want to take a break oh, from gaming. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Um, you've got the Shadow Beast t-shirt, too, Sep? I'm jealous. I'm jealous. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Brenry. It's, it's so cool. It's, it's just awesome. And Ash, your reaction when your Amiga worked was priceless. It's working. It's working. All right. Brennery, I do. Have, I've got. I've got all the new tech demos. Unfortunately, I can't play new tech demo one because it uses music from the Art of Noise, and we're not allowed to use copyrighted music. But okay, the, can I tell you? Yeah. I have four different Art of Noise vinyls. Oh, oh my god! I absolutely love Art of Noise. Oh, I'll have to show you that off stream because we'll get copyright strikes. But. Yeah, <laughs> but I do. I have, and I have forty fives. Oh of Art my of noise. god! That's I'll show you some pictures. Yes, please. Yeah. I, you know, you saw my turntable back there. I'm a big vinyl. And my dad uh, is the ultimate like, vinyl collector. He's yeah. got, I think, 7,000 records about. What? It's insane, yeah. That's amazing. That's, see, that's another thing I inherited is, like, all my dad's vinyls. Duran Duran, Billy Idol, um, Police. Like, I'll show you all the pictures. Listen to that. That is just awesome. Yes, yes, brother. Bill. Brother Bill says, check out the future was eight bit for all your eight bit computing needs. Sanzian is from um, the future was eight bit.com, and I've got a. He, he was a sponsor of our last one of our last WAG game sigs. He gave away um, a game called Rodland. Oh, oh no, we were so close. Retry. All right. Oh wait. I have oh, the mouse isn't plugged in. Yeah. I think it is. Yeah, I think it is actually. That's so weird. It wasn't all the way in, try it now. Okay. No. 
Let's see here. Real hardware. That's what happens. Yeah. Nope. Uh, we can, we'll, re, we'll restart. Yeah. Maybe it just froze. Um, yeah, Brennery, I hear you. You wish your opinion just to experience the early demo scene. Um, oh, man. Yo, Sooks, thank you, dude. Sooks, thanks for hanging out, buddy. Sooks, it was uh, great to see you in the stream, Sooks. Uh, we got to get together again, man. That was a lot of fun. Um, and I, ho I hope your bike is awesome. I hope your bike is doing well, Sooks. We got to go for a ride. Um, Rodman is now out for 499 pounds. Yeah, so they have Rodman, which is a great game, and they also have um, the Commodore 64 used to take a long time to load, and Epix made this cartridge that made it faster to load. Mm. So they, but they make a new cartridge called the, the Fast Load Cartridge Reloaded. Mm -hmm. They also make um, an SD card reader mm -hmm. for the Commodore 64, so you can like load all your Commodore 64 discs onto an SD card and then load it from the SD card reader. That's awesome. Um, and they also, yes, and Brother Bill's got the pen, the pen Ultimate, which is... Um, for the VIC-20. And he's also got the SD2 IC for the VIC-20. Nice. That feature was 8-bit is awesome. I did get the comfy chair steps. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, want, I, want my, I want my guests to be comfortable. You know, I got, I got this old wooden thing. <laughs> actually, this, actually, this chair is not bad. It's from Anthony. He left them behind oh, when nice. in Florida. I like it because they're lightweight and portable. Should run BBS for people to log in and play games daily. Oh, oh man, man I BBS. Used, I used to BBS all the time back yeah. then. It was, I, used to love, I used to love BBSing. Dancing Wolf, what's up, buddy? Great to see you, Dancing Wolf. Um, see, what's great about this, too, like I said, I have the Atari 800 and I have the Commodore 64, so I have a lot of restoration work ahead of me, but it's going to be uh, a labor of love, and I can't wait. Yeah, they're going to have... Uh, I mean, that's, that's part of the hobby, is like, getting this whole stuff to work again, you mm -hmm. know? So you're, you're, I think you're probably best off taking out the 512 expansion because... It is plugged in, but it's not working. So that could be causing some problems too. Got it. You know, in the future. Um, what's, why don't you click the? I love the music. is so good, though. It's so good. Um. Oh, Tim is saying if you have the Commodore 64, he can get you an SD2 IC and a fast load cartridge. Awesome. Yeah. I will. Um. I'll definitely contact you for that stuff. Sounds good. Yeah, brother Bill. These are Anthony's comfy wooden chair. <laughs> Ah, uh, oh, okay. Damn. Okay. Rats. Now, I don't know if it's the disc or the drive. We'll I don't see. know. Do you want to try another one? Yeah, let's what, try. Speedball too. I think people want to see Speedball too. I don't okay. know, but you said you had one you want to try, so go. No, for that's it. cool. Is it in here? It's the clear one. Okay, cool. Let's do it. Music by Dave Warhol. It's so good. Uh, Roar says, "Thank you for an awesome stream, Ash. You seem so nice, so positive, and full of passion. Oh, good night. Yeah, she good is. Night. That's why." She is. She's Thanks the best. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. Take care, Roar. Okay, so we'll reboot. Yep. That music is so good, though, It's, Ash. So, it's so good. good. Thanks, everyone, for hanging out today. This is just, this is, this stream is called just Bill and Ash hanging out, having fun. Yeah, this is <laughs> awesome. Oh, wow. You know what, I think, I think, that, so that, that's pretty, I mean, here's the thing. Back in the day, we hated the Guru Meditation era, right? But the Guru, I, could, I named my entire YouTube channel with Anthony after the Guru Meditation YouTube uh, era that you get. So what happens is the Amiga used to crash, and when it crashed, you get this era. It's called the Guru that, Meditation oh, era. Oh, that's what it comes Yeah, oh, that's where it comes from. Oh, <laughs> gotcha. And me and Anthony are silly guys, and we usually crash and burn. So we just, <laughs> well, like, let's just name ourselves after the error message, because we always crash anyway. So, uh, <laughs> my hunch was happening here. I think this is a problem with the, the RAM expansion. Got it. That's my, that's my hunch. But we can definitely play some Speedball 2 later. Okay. For sure. But I think, it, I think that may be a problem. It, this game may require one megabyte of RAM. Got that's, it. That, I think it may. Okay. Um, it's not a real mega stream until the guru starts meditating. You know it, I am like. <laughs> yes, DJ Ness, this is her first uh, guru meditation. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, on original hardware. So, that's awesome. <laughs> exactly. Definitely. Exactly. Okay, well, I'm totally cool with just, like, trying to see if the other one works. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. let's do it. And let's then, uh, do it, Ash. Let's uh, pop this out. You know, I think we, you know, we got to play some music. Let's, let's, Hoffman brought us some good luck. Um, so we'll, we'll, keep, we'll play, uh, dude, let's play the electric skater. That sounds let's cool. Let's go. I love it. The RAM expansions uh, for the Amiga 500 only run about fifty dollars. Oh, that's uh, not bad. DJ Nest, I think that's exactly what it is. I think that the problem is the, is the RAM expansion. To be honest, I think that's exactly what it is. Um, all right, so I'm gonna help Ash here. I'll go to the overhead shot so you guys can see us uh, disconnect. Um, there we go. 
These Defender of the Crown discs are from my friend Ben, by the way. They're, they're, oh yeah, let me uh, put them back, but that's awesome. Oh, Ash, your, uh, your hair, there you go. Oh, <laughs> is it crazy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love the original disc, <laughs> you're good. Okay. See, that's the problem I don't have on stream, is like, I don't have to worry about hair and all that oh stuff. Oh my god, no. <laughs> I'm also just gonna put this right here because I don't want that to fall. There we go. And we'll have to try out your second drive as well. Yeah. And then I'm gonna hand this back to you because I don't want this, it's heavy, so I don't want it to fall. Yeah, you don't want to drop the Greek stick on your toe. No. The, the, the Greek stick will win. <laughs> oh, free, do I have free runner on there? Um, do you see it up there? Uh, I might have free runner here somewhere. I'll, if I have it, I'll definitely play it for you, Scene Cat. Aw, oh, thanks, Pixel at Dawn Gaming. You're the best. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, so D for Zell. So Ash, the way, the way, the, here's why. Here's why it's called the Guru Meditation Era. Um, it's be, so when they were designing the first Amiga, they, um, the Amiga would crash, right? And they didn't know why it would crash. So um, Amiga, before they made a computer, they made accessories. Mm -hmm. So they made a joystick. They were like an Amiga joystick. Mm -hmm. And there was also, um, there was also this um, this joy. It was called the joy board, mm -hmm. and it was it's kind of like something for like the Wii U. Mm -hmm. Like you, it was literally like a balance board that you would stand on, and they had mm -hmm. some like uh, skiing game for it. I think they had, I think it was a skiing game they had for it. Um, but what they would do is they would um, if the Amiga crashed, they didn't know why it would crash. Mm -hmm. So the engineers like RJ Michael would go sit on on the joy board and meditate, try and balance the board and meditate. And he's just like, I'm gonna sit here and meditate, and then and then the answer to why the Amiga crashed will come to me. And that's why they call the error message the Guru Meditation. That is amazing. <laughs> I I love that so much. Um, oh, yeah, Tim, I have not run the Eon demo. It is perfect for the Amiga 500, Tim, except the problem is Eon is pal. You need to, and we're in NTSC world here, don't forget. Ash's dad is from New York City. Uh, so uh, we're, we're on NTSC. Eon, I don't think Eon will work on the NTSC Amiga. Yeah. It was a surfing game. There you go. Uh, California guys got Deep Frizzell. Um, that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, Uchba, welcome back to the stream. I'm so I'm, to your streaming. I, I'm sorry I missed your birthday stream, but I saw your your photo on on, on Twitter. I'm, I'm glad I'm glad you're back. I really always enjoyed your streams. I think I met her through you. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. All right. Next Amiga coming in. Now this Ash's dad did like an amazing modification to this Amiga. Yeah. So it's, the thing is, it's a cool modification. It's just hard to transport, and I'm wondering. We'll wait until you guys see it. Um, I'm wondering if we should just bypass your dad's power supply and use my power supply to okay. like eliminate um, variables. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Sounds good. I'm yeah. Gonna, I'm gonna pass this under the glass to you. Um, Thank you. Awesome. Uh, and I'm gonna. I need to know how to put uh, XM play on my next song. This is way too rude. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, so G Cola. Ash is drinking. Um, interesting. Ash is drinking a great concoction. We can show him, Ash. Oh my God! Uh, it is absolutely amazing. It's like watermelon. It's, and it's fresh watermelon, um, peach, and banana and mint. Uh, yeah. My wife made it for us before the stream. I can't tell you enough how good it is. It's so good. I'm spoiled, Ash. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I get gourmet food every every day. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes, DJ Ness says Ash is drinking wife device refresh juice. Yes. <laughs> I can't tell you, it's so freaking good. Um We're trying our best, Seb. No, mm -hmm. I don't have a sink in here. <laughs> I could glove up though. Um alright, so Ash, let's um let's Yeah, why don't you bring that five hundred up here? Okay. The only thing um I'm gonna you're you're wireless, so you're good. Well, when I turn, the fan blows into the. Oh, that's, that's okay. That's okay. all right. I mean, it's just gonna be a little noisy for a moment. All okay. right, sorry everyone. Okay. I don't know, like, how we would bypass this. I I know how to do it. Okay. I, oh, that's a good, wait. The switch though, that's interesting. So this is all kind of connected, I think. Oh wow, look at that. I'm not no, sure. No, it's not, it's not. It's not? Yeah, okay. you can, you'll be able to separate the power supply. Okay, cool. All right. Um. G. Cole is an awesome artist with great faces. Oh, I'll have to check that out. Oh my G God, he's an amazing, oh, he, 
He, um... Oh, I feel like... I, I, I obviously recognize him from your stream. Yeah, um, he drew my emote. Oh, that's... Oh, awesome. Yeah. Oh, EG Cola, sweet. I'm gonna have to check that out. Um... Uh, yes, Hemo Stick. There, you can see those blue batteries there, Ash. Yes. Those are the batteries that kill Amigas. Uh, and I pulled those out of my two uh, thousands. Oh. Um, those are Varda batteries, and they're they're the the uh, the evil enemy to Amiga. Gotcha. And there's probably the, those. I bet you there's a Varda on your five twelve K expansion. Got it. Okay. Oh, so, oh yeah. This is not even connected. Oh, okay. I'll put this down. I just so everyone knows, this is also what I brought. Oh, let me. You can put it on, under there. Yeah. This is what I brought to. Those are two external floppy drives. Yeah. Now the first one, the one there in your right hand, um, that one is designed to match the Amiga 1000. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the front design of the Amiga 1000 has got the same design as that. And then the other one is the same one I have, the other floppy drive. Oh, that, yeah, yeah. It works yeah. really well. I, that's, I love it. I think it's built like a, built like a, a tank. Yeah, okay. That's pretty cool. My, <laughs> um, yeah, my, Pixel at Dawn, that is my biggest fan. I've had that fan actually since I was like 10 years old. Uh, this fan has been with me uh, since, you know, in my room back in the day when I had my 500. Um, oh, that's hilarious, Uchiba. <laughs> yeah, oh, Rama, that's so funny. This is not madness, this is Sparta. <laughs> Uh, I do, yo, DJ Billy Ness, dude. I when, every time I kill a Varda, you know, I I, uh, I keep it as a trophy. It's it's a it's a I'm a trophy hunter of sorts. <laughs> oh, Ty, Moulin Rouge is your home, Paris, France. Yo, um, Molino Oscuro, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, appreciate the follow very much. Welcome to the stream. Uh, I am Bill, and I'm joined by my great friend today, Ash said hi. Uh, we are both streamers here on Twitch, and uh, but today we're hanging out together. It's pretty awesome. Um, no, Qua House, what's up? No worries. Your, your family just got bigger. Welcome, Vanessa. Qua House, congratulations. That is awesome. Huge congrats to your family, Qua House. That is just awesome. Hi, Game Master. Hello, welcome in. Game Master 1991, thank you for the follow. Is that, is that one of your friends? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Hi. Uh, thank you so much for the follow. Let's see, what else do I got here, Ash? Uh, uh, a500 looks like it's wearing black goth lipstick. Oh, because of this, yeah. All right, Ash, so this is interesting. So Ash's dad did a modification on this. Um, why don't you show, so if you notice, there's a black cable that is going, where is it? Into the side, Ash? Where yeah. is that black cable? It's, um, yeah, it's right, it's plugged in right here. Right and here. so he, what he did was he made an external, he made a power switch on the side of the Amiga. Why don't you hold up the Amiga on the side? Yeah. This is a mod. This is an, an Ash Dad mod. You can see that. So he did, so this, so the power switch, for those of you who don't know Amiga as well, on the Amiga 500 and like the 1200 and the Amigas that are not big box Amigas, they come with external power supplies. And the switch is on the external power supply. Yeah. But Ash's dad did a hack. So he put the switch on the Amiga, which is pretty rad. Yeah, instead of having to lean over and I guess turn it on from wherever. And I think, it, I, Ash, I think it's just a switch. I, I literally think it's just a switch that he rerouted from the power supply. So I think I can plug my power supply in. Got it'll it. work fine. I think it's just a switch. Got it. Power supply. Cool, cool. Um, yes, Seth Lemon Amiga says me and Ash have awesome dads with all that Amiga stuff. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, Ty Racer, thank you for the one bit. Um, you should hang the, var the Vanguish Vardas on a string around your neck. <laughs> yes, that's a great idea, Pixel. <laughs> that's a great. Um, Ooh, uh, X Barry PL says maybe a tradition. Um, the last Sunday of every month, have a guest in person. I could do that because ah. you know, Wog. Like we're dying to meet. You know, we haven't yeah. all met together, but I can grab a different person from Wog. That'd be really cool. Um, uh, Brother Bill says, G Cola. You, oh, you're a great friend of Ash and mine. Want to make sure Amiga Bill gets to know you. Right on. Yes, yeah. awesome. So I'll, I'll make sure to check out G Cola for sure. Uh, oh, the case. You all see is I like break it, I buy it. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're good. Yeah, you can yeah, open that up. You can open that up that gate, Ash. Just so everyone can Yeah. Oh, man. There, it's okay. It's just a little stuck. If you run your finger on this. There we go. You can see Ash's dad's mod. See that black cable there? Yeah. This is his handwriting, for sure. Oh, uh, that's awesome. But yeah, I mean, it's not terrible. If you slip the keyboard out, you can see the, where the switch goes. You just push it forward. It's not, it's definitely. There's the switch. Oh, this. Yep, that's the switch. Oh. Let me get my hand. 
Right Quiles, what we're, what we're doing, oh, there's no floppy drive in there, Ash, so yeah, we're going to have to... Oh, um, you're going to have to use that external. We're going to have to, no, you can't really do that. We can use a GoTag. Okay. But we'll, we'll, do, we'll just turn on and see if it powers up. Okay. That's cool with me. And then we'll play some more games. But uh, don't worry, so DJ Ness, uh, what we'll do is we'll get her, uh, we'll get her a GoTag. This is the perfect Amiga for a GoTag drive. Okay. Awesome. Cool. I'm learning so much. The GoTag is the, uh, like I said, it's the floppy drive emulator. We could even hook my GoTech up to it if we want to, but I'll, awesome. uh, we'll, we'll get you a GoTech, Ash. Okay. What's up, Acma Finn? Great to see you, buddy. GoTech test time. <laughs> <laughs> like, everything terrifies me, honestly, because I'm like, this plastic is old, so I'm like, I don't want to do anything and then crack anything, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty, it's, it's, it's good pretty to be It's pretty solid, safe. to be honest. The Amigas are pretty rock solid. All right, so I'm gonna take. Oh, so we can't. It doesn't matter. We don't have to plug in the mouse or anything. All we need is power and monitor because we're not going to. Uh, we're just gonna see if it turns yeah, on. Yeah, see if it turns on. Okay, cool. Thanks for being on this journey with us. This is cool. Thank you, everyone. I am so happy that we found because Ash and I have been talking about checking out her Amigas for a very, very long time. Now. Yeah. Oh, you have a spare ACA 500 plus. So. Um, so Ash, the ACA 500 Plus, so on the Amiga 500, um, you're, you're actually, there's a side expansion slot here. Mm -hmm. uh, it's gonna be hard to see, but there's a side expansion slot, it's a Zorro slot, and that's, if you had like a hard drive back then, you would plug the hard drive into here, onto the side. Mm -hmm. And now someone, um, individual computers makes this amazing thing called the ACA 500 Plus, mm -hmm. and it's, um, it's a piece of hardware that you can plug into the side, and then you can use, it's got two compact flash card slots, so you can use the compact flash card as a hard drive. Mm -hmm. And then the other one is uh, you can format it FAT32 for PC, and then you can like transfer files from your PC over to your Amiga. It's, ama it's an amazing device. That's awesome. It's so good. Um, I don't know, I kind of like the black Amiga letters. It's pretty cool, right? Um, oh, got it, Lord of Flow. You, you kind of like the, uh, you don't know not anything about me, but it's all kind of interesting. So, thank you, Game Star, Game After 1991. I'm, uh, I'm glad, I'm glad everyone's yeah, enjoying this game. thank you so much. Um, it's in better shape than your 500, which uh, modded for one mega chip with the jumper cables. Oh, that's a good, that's a good, um, yeah, that's a good hack there. And now the cables are pretty detached. We need to research where they should go until you dare power up. Got it, got it. Um, oh, thank you, Uchpa Chan. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so glad you learned. It's a, you know, the cool thing about my streams is like, it's such a great mix of people because I, oh, thank you for the host, Uchpa. Um, it's such a great mix of people because I mean, some of the, the people who come in are really, like, they're absolute geniuses. They, they know Amiga inside and out. They can tell you, like, the difference between, like, Rev 1, Rev 2, Rev 3 of the Amiga 500 motherboards. They know everything. They make their own games. They're, they're incredible and they really inspire me. Then there's also other people who come into the streams who are brand new to Amiga. And those are really important people to reach as well because we want to keep the Amiga alive and we want to pass it on to new people. Right. But, you know, the more people that are using Amiga, the better. So. And they're still developing games for Amiga. The new games are so good. Yeah. They're so good. We can play a new game later too if yeah. you want. Um, Oh, thank you. Oh, awesome. Thank you, uh, SW3PO. Uh, SW3PO gave us 100 bits and said, uh, Great stream tonight. Love the bravery of booting up uh, this family machine live. Nice. Nice. Um, the Amiga 500 case is classic, but A1200 is better form factor. I mean, if you only have one Amiga, the 1200 is a smart one to have. But I have to say, like, the 500 is the classic of the classic. So, like, if you're, you got the right machine here, Ash. Definitely. Um, so let's switch over here. And uh, we're gonna turn the sucker on and uh, right. see if it works. Uh, you have to do the honors. I don't know, let me pass Thank the power supply over to you. Okay. Let's see. Let's see, everybody. It, Ash, it looks good. It, the lights are on. I think. I think it's just. I, you know, to be honest, what it is, I'm pretty sure it's just open source scan converter is not. It's not working. It's just sometimes it doesn't seem. It's just, it, this is this, I, I think your Amiga is working, it's just this, uh, my open source scan converter is just You know what, this one has the red power See, light. See, that one's got the red power light, exactly. Boom! You have two working Amigas now, Ash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh man. How awesome is that? You know, it's and it's just like the thought of, you know, like, I know like he's, okay, so I'm a night person, right? Like, I don't really like start my day until like 11, but like I really feel awake at night and my dad was always the same. Like, we would be together, we would be up all night till like seven o'clock in the morning doing things like playing like Joust or Paperboy and and stuff like this. So just to know that like, I'm gonna be up all night nice. playing <laughs> games the same way he was playing it on the exact one that he was using and the same monitor and everything just makes me so happy. Oh, that's so awesome, Ash. That's... It just makes me so happy. And I'm so glad I got to share this with you all. Uh, live. Yeah. yeah. But um, I'm so I happy for you. And I just, I really just want to say thank you so much for helping me with this Aww. and inviting me over and helping me with this and just doing this together like it it's just very special I'm not gonna forget this oh it means you. a lot yeah this is an awesome one <laughs> I'm so happy for you I'm, I'm so, so I can't, happy for I you, can't even it? begin to tell you all how happy I am like seriously it means a lot I mean it it's, means the, a lot. it's the ultimate you know when someone you know like to pass pass them on through the Amiga you know that's that's the ultimate goal you yeah. know it, like they're gonna live on through the Amiga that's so cool <laughs> so happy. oh we got a ring no way. Richmond Mike, thank you so much for the raid. Richmond Mike, thank you so much for the raid, Richmond Mike. Let me, let me, uh, I got to Ash, Ash XXX, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate you. Snow Dog, my man, Snow Dog, thank you so much for the resub. And Richmond Mike, thank you so much for the raid. Richmond Mike's awesome, dude. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, Richmond Mike, to the earth. Oh, no problem, Razor XG. Thank you for, ha thank you for hanging out, Razor. It's always a pleasure. What's up, Fury? Great to see you. Richard, Mike, and Fury is doing awesome stuff on the Commodore 64. Nice, yeah. that's yeah. awesome. Um, so if you are just joining the stream and just following, uh, today is a special stream. Uh, my great friend, Ash said hi, came up to visit, and she brought two Amiga 500s that were her dad's and passed down to her, and she didn't know if they worked. And she never tried turning them on before. Um, and uh, we and have they success. Both they both work. They both work. Yeah. We'll get. We'll have to get that floppy drive cleaned up in your other Amiga. But yeah, they both work. It's amazing. <laughs> Hi, Mike. Oh, oh my man. God. I'm I, so happy. It's like. Um, yeah. Right. Our news. That's a good point. He said it's like trying to start the uh, the old the old timer car of your dad after years and it still works. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And you know what? Honestly, like I just feel like consoles made in this time period they're made to last they are it's like, made to last well here's the funny here's the funny thing this is actually a really funny um, um, so I threw the uh, Finnish computer festival east I, I met Bill Hurd and he was one of the main engineers on the Commodore 64 and and it, first of all it's amazing these machines absolutely do last they are built extremely well but ironically like all these old engineers they were like, we never imagined in 2020 people would still be using our computers, let alone even care about them. He's like, we we just hoped they lasted until Christmas, and then and then they had the new that model. That was it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Richmond Mike, thank you so much for the resub. Oh, Coconut, thank you for gifting this up to Richmond Mike. Thank Coconut, you're you're absolutely amazing. Thank you, thank you so much, Coconut, for all your support. You're awesome. Yo, Brother Bell, did you shout out Coconut? Oh, there you can see, brother. When it's so amazing. Whenever I think about a shout, brother Bill's already done it. Nice, That's just awesome. <laughs> see, and you know what's the cool thing too? Like my dad always talked to me about. He was like, you see, if something's not working, people just like threw it away and just bought a new one. But with this, he was like, if something's not working, I had to go out and find the part and repair it. Yep and keep it and make sure that it works and I think that's what's amazing about this is that you know like if something's not working we could figure out how to make it work we didn't have to throw it away and waste the plastic and all that stuff and exactly pass it down to you know the next generation which I am so I'm definitely gonna do you know I can see you know Ash let me take a peek um I could run up to my car I do have a GoTech drive I can show you okay. so at least you know what's up um there's so many new yo Oh wow, Pixels at Dawn Gaming. Um, thank you so much, Pixels, with the 200 bits. Pixels, you rock, dude. Thank you so much, Pixels. How lucky are we have that we have so many amazing people at our streams. I, We're so lucky. Honestly, it is the best. And this community is amazing. I can't keep stressing that enough. Like, just all the people here, all the support, all the love, and I'm so glad we got to share this. Nathan, thank you so much for the follow, Sigur. Thank you for the 200 bits. Nice. Oh my god, Ash said I've got two Amiga hikes. Yes. There you go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. 
Oh, Ash, you're the best. Oh man, this is awesome. I'm so happy. Thank you guys so much for this for the follow and Sigur, thank you so much for the the, the bit. Sigur Born, I know I think he's in your Discord too, but he's like an MVP in my Discord. Yeah. Like he's he's really knowledgeable and a mega person. Oh my god, yeah. I love Sigur first of all tells like the funniest stories. Like <laughs> I love hearing about his day. He just tells like the funniest stories. And yeah, you're right. Very, very, very knowledgeable about anything that I need to know. So And so he, happy. he also he also um, is the current holder of uh, the Guinness Book of World Records for the most might and magic streams. Yes! <laughs> I love your might and magic streams. They're amazing. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Coconut 81, thank you, thank you so much um, for, for the cheer. Uh, she said, reliving our history through our parents' computers is amazing. Oh, yeah. thank you, Coconut. It is amazing. Um, oh, did, oh, did I miss someone else's note? Um, Party 256, right on, I am leg. Thank you so much. Um, oh, and uh, Sigurborn says, chew. Got it. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I got two Amiga types, you got that one. Richard Mike, okay, awesome, thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks to everyone for all the support today, it's just awesome. I'm gonna see if I have a GoTech um, over here. I, I know I got, I got GoTechs all over the place. Okay. I have to see if there's one over here. Let me go, I'm gonna, you can hold things down, hold down the fort. I'll hold go down, down, I'll hold it down. Thank you everyone for sharing this with me. This has been such a great experience and just knowing, all right, I can, figure out what to do to clean stuff, to make it work, and and then we can get some great games going. And I know there's gonna be tons of games in the Amiga library that I've never even played before, and I can't wait. I cannot wait to share that. I can't wait. Nice Arkanoid shirt, thank you so much. I love Arkanoid. Yep. I, I used to play a lot on the, um, the arcade with the trackball. Oh my gosh. That's the best way to play. Oh yeah, it's the best. Amiga Live, thank you for the 500 bits. Amiga Live, um, thank you so much, dude. Um, Amiga Live, if you don't know Amiga Live, AmigaLive.com uh, allows you to play online multiplayer Amiga games. It's it's an incredible achievement that John did. It's such a cool. He uses the the, uh, the net play feature of FSU Lady Emulator, and you can play with your friends around the world. It's just yeah. amazing. Um, Amiga Ash is there. There's a Super Frog for you. Super Frog. Super Frog is such a good game. Have you ever played Super Frog? Never. Oh, you have, to, you have so many games. Um, do I have a spare converter and cable? I, uh, Brother Bill, I don't, unfortunately. I do have a spare converter, but I don't have a spare cable. We're going to have to get Ash one. Um, well, I'll tell you about that. You're going to need that RGB cable. Okay, cool. If, there's only one place that sells it. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get like retro bands to, to shelf them, but it's hard because the, the, the pins on the back of the Amiga's RGB port, they're 23, and most connectors are 25. Mm. So Amiga Kit actually cuts the connector, oh. so it fits. So you can go to AmigaKit.com uh, to get this cable. Okay, and so cool. thanks, thankfully they make it. So then, so as this is a go, there's all different kinds of GoTech drives. Um, this is the original kind that came out. Mm -hmm. um, and you know this one is really this one is really good for like big box Amigas or if you want to store yours externally. Mm -hmm. They also have better solutions that you can put inside the Amiga. Mm -hmm. um, but this is cool because I, this one's external, so it's gonna be pretty easy for me to plug into your Amiga. Okay. Um, and you can see this is a USB stick I have here. It's this is like a little USB thumbstick. Um, so what you do is you can take um, you take they're called ADF files, Amiga disk files, and you can load them onto this USB stick and then you plug them into this floppy drive emulator and your Amiga thinks there's a floppy drive, a floppy disk in there, and a floppy drive, yes. Yeah, yeah night, night, thank you so much for the follow, night. appreciate it. Ash does have a, I do have a retro tank, I do. Oh, very cool, oh, the retro tank is great. Oh, yeah. I love it, I um, love it. And this, Ash, I want to show you this as well. This this is the real Amiga mouse here. Yes. This is the one that you want to use your Amiga 500. This is called the tank mouse. Okay, gotcha. Um, this is the, the real Amiga mouse here. We're just using that crappy Amazon one, but, yeah. it's, but it's cool. I'm I, pretty sure I have one at home. It's just packed away in a box right now. Cool. I'm pretty sure. Well, I want to warn you about something, because if you notice, this Amiga mouse has got um, metal around the edge of it. You never want to plug this in or out when the Amiga is on. Okay. Because the metal can short out, it can make a short between the, the pins on your, your nine pin connector, and it can short out your CIA chip. Okay. It's a very common problem. Okay. Um, so that's why the newer the newer ones don't have this metal shielding on it, because the shielding can, can short it out. So okay. if your mouse at home has this metal shielding, just don't plug it in and out when the Amiga's on. Got it. I will uh, look out Yeah, for that. this mouse is rad, right? <laughs> So the tank mouse rules, Jiro. Um, 
Nice. Uh, thank you. Snowdog, it's great to have you here. I'm, I'm so glad. Snowdog's awesome. Snowdog and I, like, I was doing a shoot, I was doing a commercial in Arizona, and Snowdog happened to be there for a wedding. Yeah. And we were like staying in hotels across from each other. It was just complete coincidence. That's and awesome. we were able to like meet up really quick. It was so rad. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, the tank mounts are the first thing you, you replaced. Yeah, they, that's, and that's one reason why I don't use my original tank mounts much. I use the Amazon $7 special yeah. because I don't care if that one breaks. Yeah. But I, I save this for like when I go to exhibits and stuff. Because I want to keep the Amiga original. You know, yeah. For, for exhibit, so I, I, if I were to use it as my everyday, um, it could break. And the, the one thing that goes bad is, is the, the left mouse button. button. Yeah, of course. No, I love the tank dancing wolf. I love it. Nice. Thanks for the follow. Um, SR Baker, what, is, what does Retro Ready One have there? <laughs> On the Atari ST, the mouse is called a brick mouse. That's hilarious. Yeah, it's exactly, but it's, it's way too special. So I, I do exhibits uh, at Finnish Computer Festivals, and that's when I bring out all the old stuff. But for my streams and my everyday daily driver, like the Amazon Mouse Slime. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna pop this open. I think I probably need to change this mod. I need to learn how to use this XM player, Ash. Uh, <laughs> I think they just listened to this song like um, ten times. But it's a good song, though. Oh, it's good. It's good. It's good background music. It's like. Hoffman, you know. Hoffman's the man. I, I, I just used, uh, I, in that video I did for Alexandra's friends, she's won best in Westchester Nail Salon. So I used the Hoffman song in the video I made for her. So nice. I, <laughs> I was like, Hoffman, can I use your song? It's perfect for this nail salon video. He's like, huh? I'm like, trust me, it'll be great. He's like, all right. And then I showed it to him, he's like, oh, nice. Nice. <laughs> um, so I'm going to turn off your 500 and we're going to install this GoTech because I think your dad left the power and the uh, the ribbon cable there. We'll do this, and then, and then we'll, guys, we'll play some games. Okay. Um, Amiga Cammy's got a Hoffman playlist when she Hoffman plays when she's working out. That makes a lot of sense to Amiga Cammy, totally. Um, so let's turn off this 500. We'll pop this open. Yeah, you, run your finger. If you run your finger around it, it will pop up. Let's start from the back. Yeah, just run your finger, and it'll, there you go. Yeah, Perfect. Fun. You can take it. So yeah, see here's the power. And, and the, the floppy drive connector. Okay. You still got your shielding on here. I'm guessing that it, you know, I can't tell if it's plugged in, but I imagine, I imagine it is. Um, hmm. I, I could take the shielding off real quick if you want. Sure. Let me grab, let me grab that tool. This is, it's got Torx on it, so I gotta grab the Torx tool. Now the question is where did I put it? Is it over there somewhere? Uh, I don't see it. Let's see. Uh, where is my Torx? Where did I put my tools, Ash? I don't oh, know. Oh, I got them. I got them. They're back here. Oh, gotcha. So it's got a combination of um, Phillips and Torx. We'll see. Get the Dremel. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> It's, it's not easy trying to switch songs. Oh, I should unplug it. Whenever I work on it, I always unplug the power. Too. Yeah, just I to mean, be just safe. Just to be safe. Even though it's switched off, I always power it off. Yeah, makes sense. Seeing an A500 in bits sure brings back memories. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A500 I, dissection hype. And there's these tabs we're gonna have to pull back too. Okay. Um, but this is cool. You're gonna get to see it. You know, yeah, no, this is awesome. Um, oh, you see, your dad did. He wrote black and purple because that's the orientation of the the cable. Oh. That's so smart. See, is it, now what I do these days, I always take a cell phone picture before I disconnect. Mm -hmm. um, but he didn't have a cell phone back then, obviously. So he just boom. Nice. <laughs> that was smart. Um, there's probably is there another. Under, oh, it's under the expansion, so we got to pull the expansion off. That's probably a good idea anyway. Yeah. It's probably easier to do it through the trap door. What I really want to do is I just want to see if he's got it plugged in. It's, it's kind of like seized up.
this, this, is just, this is just the shielding, so we can just go like that. Okay. And there's one more screw there. You know, most Amigas don't even have the shielding on. <laughs> most really? most Amiga fans just they pull the this stuff right off. Because you know you're always in your machine. And you uh -huh. don't. And the shielding is just really just for like FCC regulations. Yeah. So they're not they're not gonna the FCC's police aren't gonna come <laughs> give you a ticket. All right. So let's see. It, I think we're free. Yeah, it feels free. Oh, I need more slack on that cable. Oh, got it. Sorry. No problem. Oh, it looks good, Ash. It oh, looks wow. Good. Yeah, let's, let's just take it out. Now no, you're free. Honestly, I expected it to look scary in here. <laughs> no, you're good. Whoa. Ah, next song. Oh, uh, yo, uh, DJ Nest, we'll, we'll watch that. We'll watch that. You guys are psyched. It looks neat. There's nothing in it. <laughs> Dude, that kept it clean. Um, oh my god, yeah. The first, you, what rev is it? This is a, this is what rev, it should say the rev on the motherboard. Um, where, so here's your 512K of RAM. Okay. And then here's the expansion, okay. um, which may or may not be good. We don't know yet, but you're, what's this? Oh, interesting. He did some kind of, I don't know if, so guys, I don't know. I, I mean, I'm sure some people in chat know, but I think this power cable, this power cable has been cut. I don't know if you actually need those. Interesting. You might, know. you might need a new power cable, Ash. Okay. Um, I've got one in my car. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if it turns on. Okay. We'll see if it turns on. Um, I think and also the keyboard is also keyed. These are capacitors mm -hmm. uh, in the 1200. They leak. Okay. Um, so this is um, Rev 6A, 1988. Rev 6A. Um, yeah, let's plug in. Let's plug in the GoTech and see if it works. I, this may not work because some of these wires are cut. See? I don't, I don't know why. I don't know if it needs all four. Naked Amiga so sexy. <laughs> Amiga porn, hilarious. It is sexy, I agree. Now, usually, usually I put the red uh, next to the power cable, so it always goes power to power. I'm not sure how it your dad is it here. Um, I'll just go, you can't you can't hurt it by putting the cable in backwards. If the, if you turn it on and the light just stays on solid, it means you put it on backwards. Got it. Um, you can't. You're not gonna hurt anything. Let's just see. Let's see. If, I, I don't know if this will work. I'm, you might need a new power. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Rare surgery. The cut side of the power scares me. Maybe tether it somewhere. It doesn't short. Yeah. Yeah. You know he's right. I don't. I don't know. We can for now. Let's just turn it on and see if there's power to it. We can just. It's, the thing is, Amiga Live, it's literally like, um, it's, the, the wire is like inside the rubber housing, so you're fine. I think we're fine. Let's just, tell me. Yeah, it works. It works? <laughs> it totally works. Maybe I should get some, you know what, I should, you know what I can do? I can tape this. Let me, come on. I mean, this works. You said paper clip? Uh, yeah, sure. So what, how does it work if these wires are cut? Maybe it doesn't need, what I'm thinking is it, it, it doesn't use all four, all four. Maybe my dad is some Amiga scientist. I had that no idea crazy. what the heck he did. Yeah, it's a lot, it is a lot totally. Uh, let me, um, oh, it looks to be a different keyboard. Maybe it didn't come with that 500. That's crazy, wow. Um, the board has spaces, yeah, because it does have spaces for another 512, because look, it says 512K RAM, uh, one megabyte of RAM. Um, it, it literally says 512 slash one megabyte of RAM. Very interesting. There's Fat Agnes. It's, this board is in great shape. That's awesome. This is the 68,000 CPU. Mm -hmm. um, that's the, the, main, the main CPU. Sweet. Let me, um, what was I going to do? I was going to... Oh, I was going to get tape. Sorry. It's not that hot in here, but my brain is starting to go, go a little funny. Tape 
tape the wires. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So if okay, it's got it's it's got a regular Agnes, I believe. It. W There's just some like dirt and stuff in here. Is it safe to clean this with like a can of air? After the can of air is exactly what you want to clean it. With. Okay, awesome. So I'll just go in with that and just be really careful. Like when I get home, I'm gonna like set up a table, like <laughs> nice. my surgery center and like be really delicate and clean all of this and be very meticulous. Okay. Sorry for the floppy, it was using the 5V red, not the 12 volt yellow. So yeah, so the, the right, so the, the yellow the yellow is clipped, so it's only using the it's using the red. So I guess you don't need you don't need the yellow. Mm. All right, let's put um, let's put a joystick in. I don't I don't know what I have on this USB stick, Ash. Okay. Um, no worries. Well, you know, let's find out. So I'll turn it on. I'm just so amazed at the capabilities of what we have been able to accomplish today. It's, it's pretty awesome. Um, I don't know, again, I don't know if it's not sinking or what. I think this is just my open source scan converter not being able to. It's weird, the open source scan converter works much better with PAL. Yeah. Interesting. I wonder if the floppy cable is backwards. It could be. not reading the GoTech for some reason. Interesting. Okay. We'll have to figure this one out, Ash. Okay, sounds <laughs> I'll, good. I'll, what I'll do is I'll re well, later I'll get my cables and we'll replace it um, with, with my cables and we'll see if it works. Mm -hmm. It can um, be a little finicky. It yeah. often works still to just switch it back and forth between inputs and sometimes just again the same input. Oh, the, the open source scan converter? Your first stream on this should be titled Ash Says Amigo. Yes. <laughs> yes. Because it's, it's, I've tried the floppy cable both both ways now. Yeah. And I've even tried the thing is I mean when you go to zero, it it boots the firmware, mm -hmm. so it should like it should theoretically just go into the menu to tell me like what's on the, the stick. I just pulled this one out. I don't even know. Gotcha. Oh, there it goes. Now it's working. Oh, you know, we also don't have a keyboard plugged in. <laughs> I forgot about that. What? Um, what do I have? Um, oh, I got another world. I've got another world on here. A rotator. Oh um, and I got some music discs. Smarting another world. See, I don't know if another world um, will work because it's PAL. NVIDIA is nice. All right, so that, I mean, things are working, Ash. Yeah. Things are working, this is awesome. Hi, Comatron. Well, it, you're, you're, this Amiga's gonna work, Ash. Um, this we, is amazing. This is, this is, this is it. This is, this is what we needed to know. This is awesome. So let's plug in this mouse, uh, and then, you know, let's plug in the mouse, and I can show you what a, what a music disc is. Okay. Um, the music disc is awesome. I'm gonna plug in the um, audio here, and then we need to plug in that keyboard. Okay. And see, we should we should uh, check your dad's um, notes. Well, 
I'm pretty sure it went black. Black and purple. See, usually I take a picture. Where's that shield? Yeah, we, we're, Frizzle, we're good. thank you so much for the subscription. Yo, Z Frizzle, thank you so much, dude. I appreciate that very, very much. That is just awesome. Um, is Ash going home? Amiga Live, I can, I'll give her my GoTech. She wants my GoTech and she can have it. Um, I, have, I have a couple of GoTechs over at Jim. See, look, look, this is a major surgery going on here. Don't try this at home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely don't. Um, so, Ash, what I have on here is a music disc. Uh, music discs are, um, you know, they, they basically they play mod files. Yeah. Um, so we can we'll try that just to see if something works. Um, let me turn it on. Go tech and go home. <laughs> go tech and go home, hilarious. All right, let's, uh, you know, I'm, I'm silly. I didn't know, I think it's probably in number one. So let's um, turn it on and then we switch to, switch to one. There it goes. Well, there's the light. It's, this is right now, it, the problem is, is the open source scan converter, not your computer. So that's good. Sweet. It didn't do it. So we'll try this too. I should have noted like what was where. Now it's booting. I'm going to close out the music on the PC. Okay. GoTech is socially distancing from Bill. <laughs> oh man, you want five GoTechs? Is it booting, Ash? I don't know. It stopped. You can also see on the, on the keyboard there. Oh, gotcha. Yo, Terrafin313, thank you so much for the sub. That is just awesome. Thank you, Terrafins, for the support. Thanks to everyone who subscribes and follows me. That is just incredible. Th oh, Amiga Live, you gifted the sub. Thank you, Amiga Live. Thank you so much, Amiga Live. You're too kind. It's doing something. It's doing something. Ah, but it quit. You would, if it was accessing the disk. Oh, it would have, the yeah. light would go on. I'm also, you know what? These, these also might be PAL. These music disks might be PAL. Oh, yeah. got it. Because I think I was, I was using this with my 1200. Okay, it's green. It's reading that disc. It's reading it, whatever is in slot number three. It was reading for a minute and then it stopped. Okay, interesting. Here, I'll hold it. Also, yeah, I think um, if if I had known, you know, if I had known, we would have, uh, I would have had something prepared. That's <laughs> all right. But I just wanted to, it's reading the disc though, it's gonna work. We just have to. Um... Specky, I'm doing well. It's so good to see you. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. All right, it's doing something now. Oh, your GoTech's currently connected to your Atari ST. That, that's, that's hilarious. That's no problem, Tim. The OSCC can't handle the power. Oh wait, something's happening. It's a music disc. There it is. You can, I'll take it. You can turn that sucker up over there, Ash. Oh snap. It works. Happy. It works, Ash. I'm so happy. It is. It is, pal, because I think it's cutting off the bottom. But this is a music disc, so it's a disc with music on it, and they, have, it. they have cool selectors. So you can move the mouse around and choose different songs. Oh my god! This song slaps. It's good. Oh my god. Does Ash have any memories of playing Eye of the Beholder on this? Yes. Absol this is the exact 500 we played Eye of the Beholder on. Oh, wow. That's yep. amazing. So I can't click anything. Oh, it wants me to change the disc. Oh. Oh, you know what? I don't think I have a disc, too, for this. <laughs> Do 
Can you click on Scream from Space 2? It won't let me click anything. It's telling you to change, but you know what? It's, it, it works, Ash. It We're works. Good. Yeah. <laughs> That's all we needed to know. That's, That's awesome. All we needed to know. It is time to cry. I'm so happy. Hot jam. Oh, click on the economy part. Yeah, it won't let me click. No? Mm -mm. That's so weird. Yeah, Svinto, you're right. It, it's a little fast to, uh... It's a fa it's the, the music is playing fast because it's playing in NTSC mode. See, I can click on this one. Autoplay. Oh, autoplay goes to the next song. That's cool. Oh, yeah, it's, um... Time to get Ivy Holder running on this. You're right, SW3 Pro. Yes. <laughs> no way, that is awesome, Comatron. That is super sweet. Yeah, this is an Amiga Music Disc. Oh, well, the cursor keys work. Good question. No, it's mouse based. But we're good, we're good, Ash. Um, I'm so happy. I think, do you want to, what time is it? Oh, I have no idea. Uh, the time is flying. Yeah. It's 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock. So maybe you want to play like one more game and we'll fire up my 1200 because that one's yeah. ready to go. And then we'll Sounds play good. Um, C64 Television says so damn cool. Nice. Do I have a C I do. Amiga Live, I do. Okay, so. You can lower it down a little bit. Okay. On Amiga. Yeah, that's good. This has been so fun. Nice. I'm so Ash. happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> it's amazing, right? Yeah. It's so, this is so cool. We got your Amigas fired up, Ash. I can't believe it. I'm so, I'm so happy. Um, so maybe we'll play one, because we'll, we'll play another game and then, uh, and then, and then call we'll call it. it. Yeah. yeah, sounds good. Um, it's been a great day. It's been pretty amazing. Yeah. yeah. It's been amazing. <laughs> yes, Ash, is, Ash is, is, in the, is in the guest of honor chair. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Comatron. Yeah, that, that looks so cool. Um, let's see, what should we play? Um, what do I got here? Um, Marble Madness, right? Let, oh, yeah, yeah. we gotta do Marble Madness. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Marble Madness, or, I mean, Another World is great too, but we can play Marble Madness together. I think Marble Madness, that's so absolutely it. So, for Marble Madness, should we, we should probably use your other Amiga. Um, oh, it wasn't reading the disc? Remember, we were having a problem reading the disc. Yeah, oh, yeah. right. Um, we can... I mean, I'm totally cool. I mean, now that we know this works, I'm totally cool with putting it away and then just working off your Amiga. I can grab my 500. We can, I can grab my 500. Okay. Um, or to play Model Madness. Okay. Um, I think you want to play it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Okay. I'm going to go grab my Amiga. You can get yeah, Amiga Mar Model Madness is NTSC, exactly. Uh-oh. Um, so Ash, you can you can entertain the troops while I grab it. Sounds good. Yeah. Sounds <laughs> I got to. Uh, I, th I think I have to dig into my closet for it. Yeah, forty-eight k. I brought my both of my Amiga five hundreds um, for us to plug in and see if they work. And we were playing Shadow of the Beast earlier on one and defending on the uh, defending of the defender defender of the crown on the other one. And I just can't even tell you the amount of joy that I had just knowing that they were in good condition and they worked and I'll be able to um, you know, keep them clean and keep them safe and continue playing Amiga on the original ones that my dad had and that we used growing up. I'm like super, super stoked. And you know, it'll be cool to see you playing with Amiga on your channel. Heck yeah, I'm super excited. I can't even begin to tell you and just like, it's been so much fun, and it's been so much fun, like hanging out with you all and talking and learning. We learned a lot today. It's it's been a blast. I, I I've had an awesome time. Yes, this is my childhood Amiga. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, hold on. I don't need that. that don't see the power supply. Okay, cool. Love the Arkanoid shirt. Thank you so much. Thank you probably you should so play. Much. You can play Arkanoid if you want. <laughs> All right. So this one is um, this this Amiga that I'm putting here now is actually got a lot of nostalgia for me. Yeah. This one comes from Westchester Community College, 
And this computer um, used to use a program called Pro Video Gold. Nice. And on, in the college campus, they would have monitors all over the school. And they would use Pro Video Gold as like a, um, a digital bulletin board. Mm -hmm. So it would say like, you know, football practice Wednesday, 5 p.m. Um, you know, or come to our play this Friday. So this, this computer was on like 24 hours a day at Westchester Community College. And again, it was uh, headed for the trash. But my dad's friend who ran that department set, knew you know, that I was the Amiga guy. So he was able to get me this Amiga before it went into the garbage. Nice. Good that you were able to save it. Yeah, exactly. OK. So I'm not used to playing model dance with a joystick, but we'll do it. Um, I got the Greek stick. Uh, this should be plugged in. I think we're good there. We'll grab the Marble Madness disc. Oh, sorry if I'm behind on chat there. Oh, take care, Tim. It was great seeing you. Thank you so much for hanging out. Arkanoid is awesome. On, I agreed, Sep. Agreed. Uh, Arkanoid is NTSC. Very difficult. Yeah, we, we, well, we tr Ash can play some Arkanoid. So Ash, you. So Marble Madness, you're gonna use the mouse. So you're set. Got it. Yep. Um, I'm gonna turn. Let's see. I think Alexander might have texted me. No way. <laughs> My neighbor and his kids are, are, uh, are watching us. Um, I don't know how they found me. That's amazing. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, so let's turn it on, Ash. Sweet. Um, and I'm going to go to, um, oh, so we need the floppy. Um, we're going to play Marble Madness, right? I think it's yeah. over there on your side. Um, is it one of these? I think it's one of those, yes. Okay, cool. Boop, boop. Yep. Here we go. Yeah, exactly, Amiga Nick. Tr you, the trackball is the best way to play Marble Madness. I'm not, I'm not going to argue with that, but we don't have we don't have that luxury here today. Normally I do. Yo, Game Master 1991. Thank you for the subscription, Game Master. Thank you so much. Thank you very. So, Game Master, when you subscribe, you get my Amiga Bill goodie bag after every stream. I draw, I give you guys a whole a whole bag of goodies with links from the stream, uh, links to uh, ga free games, links to where you could possibly potentially download other games. Um, the Westchester Amiga User Group newsletter, you get, all kinds of, you get all kinds of good stuff. Did you put in that Marble Madness disc? Yep. Weird. Maybe, that, you know what, Ash, maybe that Marble Madness disc is not good. Mm. Let's see. I, I, I listened to the drive. There it goes. So like I said, this, this computer was on for 24 hours a day. Um, just hit retry. Um, so I think this Marble Madness disc is starting to go bad, but th also this computer was on for 24 hours a day, so it's mm. like, <laughs> it's a, a miracle that it still works. You have a trackball for your Amiga, you made one yourself. Oh, nice Amiga Nick, that's, that's awesome. awesome. That's really cool. I still have my Atari uh, trackball, which is cool. I had for my Atari 800. I got switch scenes here. Oh yeah, here we go. I, the sound of the Amiga floppy drive is like some ASMR. Yeah, it seriously <laughs> is. Oh yeah, for sure, Dancing Wolf. Those are great. So Ash, this is very interesting. This is Marble Madness. Now, if you notice, um, there, we'll go to player two, put number of players two. Uh, if you, so it shows you, um, you can do a rear port or a front port. Now, the, you might be saying like, why, well, that, that makes no sense, rear port and, and, and front port, because there's no front port. That, this game was designed for the Amiga 1000. So on this side of the Amiga 1000, there's a, a, a mount, the mouse port is closest to you, and then the joystick port is, is behind it. So rear port would be the joystick. So if you were gonna play with the mouse, so this is perfect, so your front port's front port mouse and I'm rear port joystick because number port two is the rear port. Got it. <laughs> because the physicality of the Amiga 1000 has got ports on the side that one close to you, one far away from you. Gotcha. So that's why, that's why it says that. So uh, I haven't played this game two player in a long time. It's so funny because I actually, I could use my tank mouse, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rock it. I'm gonna rock it out with the Greek stick. Nice. All right, we gonna hit go? Yeah, Gus, go. You had a Kingston PC trackball to convert for your Amiga? Cool. 
Marvel Madness was one of the first games you played on your Amiga. It was one of mine too, Phenotype. I, I love Marvel Madness. I, I know 48K RAM, using a joystick from Marvel Madness is uh, a bit of blasphemy, but we're going to do it. So you're the blue ball and I'm the red ball. Oh, maybe you want to turn it up a little bit, Ash. There you go. This is really, really awesome. Did I die? Uh, yeah, I mean, we're yeah. just getting, we're just getting, all right, so yeah, so we're race, this, this is a death, a death race here, Oof. Ash. I'm the red marble, Ash is the blue marble. I'm playing with the joystick, she, she's owning me. <laughs> <laughs> Good race, Ash, nice. Oh yeah, GG, GG. Uh, this came, came before the Amiga 500, exactly. Oh, it came with the Amiga 1000. I didn't oh, realize it came with it, that's awesome. That's I, knew, cool. I knew it was the Amiga 1000 vintage, but I didn't know it came, actually came with it. I always, I, I, the Amiga 1000 was like my dream machine, yeah. but the Amiga 1000 was pretty expensive. Amiga 500 also pretty expensive, but what happened was when Commodore bought, um, bought the Amiga from, uh, from Jay Miner and his team at Amiga Inc., they, uh, they, one of the things they did was they figured out a way to cost reduce the 1000, oh. and that's what the, the 500 became. So they gave it a little more RAM, uh, they, they, um, and they figured out a way to cost uh, reduce it. Your 1000 didn't come with it? Hilarious, no dog. Huh. Uh, marble. Oh, he's come on, punk. Trouble making nice. marble. All right, we got him. Oh, we both got bonus points for that. Oh, I'm in trouble here, Ash. I'm gonna, I'm gonna break. Oh no. Time <laughs> to wait. No, this is a, this is a death oh, match. Oh, it's a race. This is, oh yeah, this is a, this is a death match. This music, oh my God, brings back so many good memories. Uh -oh. As much as I love the, the Greek stick, it's not the right tool for Marble Madness. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I, I cracked. I cracked. What's Hi, up, Ruprim? How's it going, Ruprim? Oops. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> so Brother Bill's making a joke because Anthony gave me an Amiga 1000 when he moved to uh, Florida. Yeah. But it was a broken Amiga 1000 he gave me. <laughs> oh, man. But I fixed it. I fixed it, Brother Bill. Well, I, I mean, I, I got another partially working Amiga 1000, and between the two of them, I, I made an Amiga 1000. This was your sixth or seventh game for 1000, one of your favorites? Nice. I think I won? You, oh yeah, it's <laughs> rock the <it>, Ash. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Nice. I think you can turn the volume up even a little bit more on it. You know what, Ash, see that dial all the way at the top? Um, keep going straight. Straight up, yep, keep going. That one, turn that to the right. To the right. Yeah, keep going. Keep going to the right. Turn it to like 3 o'clock. There we go. Now we might have to pot it down on that slider. We'll see. Okay. <laughs> Hilarious brother, Bill. This, so, Marvel Madness is like what I was saying with the Amiga. One of the things I loved about Amiga is it was um, the arcade ports were incredible. Yeah. And this felt just like the arcade, yeah. especially when you played it with a trackball. Oof. It's, this game is impossible to <laughs> The joystick is so hard. <laughs> yeah, I used to play this on the NES, and that was tough. Oh yeah, this is not an NES game. Yeah. I mean, you 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 really want to play this game with a trackball, Absolutely. and then the second best thing would be the mouse. Nice move there, Ash. Yeah, gotta watch these things. You're going so good. I can't. They, it, it can't even put my marble back down. <laughs> Sorry. Don't be sorry, it's a death match, Ash. <laughs> Alright, this part's tough. No, no, no. Oh god. Okay. Oh, I almost made it. <laughs> you bought, um... The only two games your store had when you bought your 1000, Arctic and Sky Fox. Oh, those are classics. There's no way, like, I, the joystick's just not precise enough to get through this part. Yeah. There's no way. <laughs> yeah, Anthony's gonna give this 1000s away on the street corner. The joystick is just not precise enough for this. Mm, mm, I can't, I can't go diagonal. But Ash, you're still in the mix. I am. I tried to play on WinUAE for Android with Xbox Gamepad, and it's very okay. Oh, it, that will work though. I mean, even with the Xbox game, yeah. I wonder. If it's easier if you use the analog stick, even though it's not really analog, you know, maybe maybe it would, it would work kind of. Uh, <laughs> hilarious. Um, yeah, of course, pixel. Pick, there I am again, blaming blaming the tools exactly. 
<laughs> Snow Dog, I, yeah, I could, I could plug in an extra mouse. I do, I do. I could plug in an extra mouse. Oof, oof, oof. You can complete Marble Madness anytime. Nice. I know I should plug that tank mouse in. Oh no! I don't really have. A, if you saw the physicality of the space, I don't really have a good spot to put that mouse though. <laughs> I oh rearranged God. this whole place with plexiglass and all this stuff. I don't really like. Right now, I'd have to like work off my lap. It'd be really hard, especially I, with a ball mouse. Oh my god. Yeah, get get rid of that jerk. I know. Nice, you got a thousand points. Look at that, Ash. Love it. Oh, oh no. You gotta make the jump. Yeah. Yo, C64 Television, thank you so much for the subscription. Um, I really appreciate that, C64 Television. Um, thank you thank you so much for the support. Yo, Brother Bill, can you shout out C64 Television? C64 Television also uh, is a great streamer here on Twitch. Yo, Fim, thank you so much for the follow. If you're just joining the stream, welcome. Uh, my name is Bill, and I play Amiga Stuff every Sunday, 2 p.m. Eastern here on Twitch. But today, I have a very, very special guest in my stream room. Uh, the lovely Ash said hi. She brought over two of her Amigas that were passed down to her from her dad. She wants to see if they worked, and guess what? They, they work. We just gotta dial them in so she can stream them now. Yep, but I am so excited. Oh my god. Um, yeah, X Barry PL. I should play Boulder Dash. X Barry PL made a Boulder Dash uh, game, which is oh, pretty, is pretty that's awesome. awesome. Yeah. Yo, this is scary. Okay. You got it. Yes. Nice one, Ash. Oh man, that was scary. <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna make it. Time goes by too fast on the stream. Know. It's like a time warp. It's like a total time warp. I know. I hate those hammers. Yeah, they're really, really difficult to get past. Thank you. Thank you, Girolamo. I've only seen the NES version. Plays a lot better with the ball controller like intended. Yeah, exactly. With the mouse, it's like real buttery. It's super smooth. You also got that laser mouse, which helps too. That's, that's true. The laser mouse. Like, when I first played with the laser mouse, I was like, oh, that's so nice. It's really smooth. But you, um, but the trackball is the real way to play it. Yeah. I don't think I've ever gotten this far in Marble Madness, honestly. I think, can you crush those guys? I don't know. I think you can. Cause... Okay, I'm still... Uh... Yeah, you can crush Oh, you can. Yeah, you can oh, get to points. get time. Yep. Oh. Yeah, but there, there's a great, there's a couple of great Guru videos that show uh, Anthony's bunker. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try and get out, because I only got seven seconds left. I think this is the end for me. Oh god. No, please. There you go, get in there. Nice. You know the tricky thing is because the, the, the laser mouse is so sensitive, you were, you were yeah. like bouncing off the wall. That was really fun. That was That awesome. was really fun. Do you want to play Arkanoid since you have the t-shirt on? One uh, last game? All right, one last, one all right, last. One last game. Um, so I think it might be in that pile. If it's not in that pile, it's in the other pile. Okay, cool. It'll be my sloppy handwriting. <laughs> Uh, nope. OTW, Speedball, well. Arknoid. Arknoid, there it is. All right. All right. Yeah, we did good. There's only one more level after that one. That's wait, awesome. Wait, you know what's interesting? Let's, 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 let's let the kickstart come on first. So pop it out. Oh. It, I don't know why it, it, before it didn't pop that out. Uh, see, the, but my open source scan converter has a hard time with the NTSC. It's weird. Like, the, my PAL Amiga is like super solid with the open source scan converter, but the NTSC Amiga just... Actually, do I have time to go to the bathroom real quick? Go for it, but don't forget you have that microphone on. Ooh, how do I turn it off? Do I just... Um, hold on, it's me. You're, you're, you're off. All right, cool. I'll be back. You remember playing that on the, the ZX Spectrum? You didn't have an Amiga back then? Nice. So we're going to play a little Arkanoid now. You'll also see... Um, oh, wow, that freaks me out because... <laughs> I'm, I have a different setup here uh, than usual. Let's see. That looks good. Thanks everyone for hanging out today. It's been a very awesome stream, um, a very you know emotional one for Ash. So it's so cool that her dad's Amigas still work and her dad's spirit is gonna live on through her Amigas. It's so rad. And we're gonna we're gonna hook her up so she can stream. The tricky thing is the Amiga 500, the composite output is only black and white. So what we have to do is get her um, 
an Amiga RGB to SCART cable, and then a SCART to HDMI converter, and then she'll be able to stream it. Um, this is an NTSC version of Arkanoid. I, you know, I chose this one because, um, because we, got, we both have NTSC Amigas here. Let's see, is it working? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, I know, dude. I know, Brother Bill. I know. What's up with Anthony? I forgot how to start Ar Arkanoid. Is it right mouse button? That's so weird. Oh, Snow Dog, that's really, really kind of you. Um, yeah, we need to get Ash uh, hooked up with that stuff. I don't know why it's. Um, do you guys remember how to start Arcanoid? <laughs> yeah, exactly, Jiro. <laughs> Let me make sure the mouse is. Yeah, the mouse is working. Uh, Snow Dog, Snow Dog is offering to donate you some tools for um, to, so you can stream. What? Are you serious? That's that's really generous. <laughs> Logan says, "Don't move to Florida and retire like Anthony." <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that's super generous. It's, I think the game was just stuck before, guys, because I did I did press F one. I, I do remember that. Um, so this is Arkanoid Ash, and oh, I'm so oh wait a minute, were we just playing Marble Madness off this? I think. What do you mean? We were looking here, not there, right? Oh, we were. Oh my God, Ash! Yeah. We, this is like amateur <laughs> hour. You, that's so. It, it, you guys don't understand, but we were watching it off the OBS. We were like watching it with a delay off the streams. Oh, no okay. wonder why we were. Yeah. <laughs> it's. I'm no. I. I would have stunk anyway. But. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this is Arkanoid. It's it's like this is like an arcade perfect port of it. Do I switch to one of these? Um, you, no, you use that mouse right there. Okay, cool. Yep, and we'll start you off with F one. Oh man, wait, am I on? Oh, you're muted. There you go. Hello. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Better better to have you a little bit muted there than to have Maybe. you unmuted in, yeah. in the restroom. So yeah, you you choose which round you want. Um, oh. Yeah, and just go to. Oh, I'm gonna start round one. Yep. It's very sensitive. Oh, you <laughs> I picked 20 by accident. <laughs> That's okay. Whoops. All right, well. C lets you catch it. S slows it down. L is the laser. That. Yeah, the, the gold bricks are indestructible. Okay. Round 20, fight. Exactly, Sugar. <laughs> She's using um, a laser mouse from Amazon, and it's really sensitive, so like it's, it's easy to overshoot, like she did. E is the extension. There we go. I like the keeping the laser. What the heck does that do? Uh, the E is the extension. It uh, it makes makes it wider. Yeah. We literally have one block left. Literally. It's one you're block. doing pretty awesome for round twenty. <laughs> yeah. Oof. Survival. That's all I'm thinking about. Please don't. Oh, you almost had it there, I Ash. know. Oh, man. Sugar. <laughs> or you can let uh, run out and then you can start at one. Yeah, let's do that. You, uh, you gotta show, make sure you show me you're wearing your, your Arkanoid t-shirt. Oh, there yeah, it is. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> so I know, close. she had one left. I know. That's why I love the laser. The laser owns. Yeah. <laughs> it's the key the, to success. The, the problem, don't put coins in the disk drive, that's hilarious. Um, <laughs> the, the funny thing with the laser, though, is the laser can make you lazy. You know, like you start focusing on what you're going to shoot, true. and you lose track of where the ball is. That's true. Oh, the multi-ball messes me up, too. Yeah. Oof. Big oof. 
Yeah, yeah no, Amiga Nick, I, I, it is good. What I'm saying is my the Achilles heel for me with the with the laser is like I start focusing on shooting the bricks, but then I lose track of where the ball is and and I die. <laughs> So if you if you know how to use the laser properly, it's wonderful. But if you don't, if you get distracted like I do, then <laughs> riveting gameplay. <laughs> nice and slow. Yeah, it's nice. It's it's. You nice could have you, you could have gotten the extension there. I don't know if it would have sped it up or not. I feel like it might have. Maybe you oh, might be right. Go. Because you had the slow special. That's the catch. There's oh, the extension. Well. I think the extension is, is my favorite one. Yeah, definitely. Oh, except for the laser, of course. Ooh, ooh, uh, could have gotten both. Yeah, so like level one is like perfect for the laser. You just, um, you can just destroy everything. So fun. Slow ball, exactly. Yeah, I mean, it, this is another one that uh, I used to use the trackball for. This one and, and uh, no. see, that's, that's what happened, Ash. That's what happened. I know, I got greedy. You I can got... turn up the volume a little bit on the Amiga. Just slide that sucker up. Yeah. All the games have different volume levels. Yeah, I deal with that too when I'm playing like a lot of Super Nintendo. It's like sometimes the game is really loud and sometimes it's like I can't hear it. The arcade and the rotator knob, exactly, exactly, Mega Nick. The rotator knob is the best way to do it. I think it's good. I, I kind of look at the levels here and I can oh, figure it out. Oh, yeah. that's how, okay. Because your volume control is um, different. Yeah, exactly. Sound 101. All right, let's start again at level one. I got this. I always get afraid to go for it because then I'm like, then I'm gonna lose sight of the ball. The volume's right on, thanks, Sigor. I'm a little bit out of my element here, like I said, because normally I'm like dialed in and um, but I think I think I think we did well. I think we developed the mix today. I'm guessing. I always check my streams and make. And I'm like, did I mess that mix up? That is that, that was playing that too loud. Could everyone hear me? It's also weird because I'm not using my regular microphone. Ash and I are both wearing like wireless microphones. Yeah. So. Um, what the French toast? Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Jiro. Arkanoid is still an immortal game. You can play it after many many years, and it gives you some great feelings. Exactly. Heck yeah. Yeah. Nice. Um, Ash, do you want to? What time is it? I think I think it might be time to wrap it up. Yeah, we, we got we got to pack up your Amigas and yeah, it's five thirty. Yeah, let's so I think that's a good time and we'll go. We got to go uh, check out the river with Alexander. I can't wait. Let's um, let's play some let's play some music though. Um, okay. Let's play some music and then we'll we'll see who's streaming. See if we can give someone a raid. Give someone a raid. Oh my God, everyone! Thank you so much for sharing this journey with me. Thanks for. All of the wonderful stories and, you know, learning so much from you all and connecting and just being a part of the Amiga community is really awesome. I'm so grateful for you, Bill. Thank you so much for having me on your show. Of course. The pleasure is mine, Ash. You oh are my just, God. You are like the best co-stream partner ever. No, I this mean. was like, <laughs> seriously, I'm, thank you so much and thank you for helping me test and and making sure that they work and teaching me you know what to do and and thank you everyone for being here and sharing time with us this has been an absolutely incredible day oh it's been so it's amazing after you were able to come up here and i'm just so like so happy for you that you're able to you know carry on your dad's spirit in these Amigas, and we're gonna get them like dialed in for you so you can start doing some Amiga streams too. I know I, it's all, I get it, like the Nintendo's awesome. Yeah. It'd be nice to get some a little Amiga in your mix too. I cannot wait, I cannot wait. Oh, awesome. Um, you're welcome, Air Yuri, you're, you're welcome. Uh, ZX Becky, thank you so much. Yeah, Jiro says, welcome to the Amiga community, Ash. Yes, Gabor with the love. Uh, thank you for showing me a new friend, he's pretty cool. Oh, thank you, Games Master, that's really, really nice. I hope, I hope you can, uh, Catch some of my streams after after you watch Ashes, of course, because she streams on Sunday too. DJ Billy Nest, thank you. It, DJ Nest, when I'm a little bit more like focused and you know I'm gonna play, I'll play your um, Scal video again. But thank you, he made this a really amazing video for me. Yeah. So Scal was a multimedia program for the Amiga, and uh, it let you like bring in titles and pictures and videos. And DJ Nest made like this Amiga like, tribute video. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, it's so good. Um, 
Niv Rig says welcome. I mean, how awesome is like all these folks I that come know, on? I know, this is amazing. Thank you so much. Another satisfied Amiga Bill customer, that's hilarious. Exactly. Retro Gaming Denmark. Oh, I've, we've been streaming for three out, three and a half hours now, so it's yeah. time It's time to call it. Because Ash and I want to like hang out a little bit too, you know, yeah. recalibrate. <laughs> SW3, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Ash will be back. That's, don't worry about that. Thanks, uh, Brother Bill, and thank you, Sigur, and everybody from the community who came by and supported and watched. And oh my God, thank you so much. It's been so awesome. Um, Yes, DJ. So, so speaking of the next stream, it's great. You want to watch a Scowl stream? That's a great idea. I mean, you can't uh, Thanks for the stream. Great to see you both. So much. Yeah, thank you, Bobby Seal. You're awesome. Another great stream. Thanks, Hero. You rock. Sigur, my man, with the, with the. Can I do the Amiga Love with this? So, Ash, you're, I think. See where it says um, effects RTN is the third slider from the right. Uh, uh, keep going right. This yeah, one? yeah. Uh, the next one over. Start pushing that up a little bit. No, okay, there we go. Okay, so. Um, when I say Amiga Love, push it all the way up to the top and then pull it down. Okay. All right, so pull it down. You ready? Yeah. All right, go for it. Amiga Love. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> Our friend, my friend uh, Eric, he's, 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 his name is Amiga Love, and he's got AmigaLove.com, and he's an Amiga 1000 expert. Nice. So I always make fun of his name. Yeah. And I did this whole thing on the video toaster. There was this uh, woman named Kiki Stockhammer. She still works for New Tech. But she was like the, she's an amazing like engineer as well, but she's also attractive and she's like the model the, for the, the video coaster. And there's like this little effect that she does where she comes out and it's like you were like keeping on her like, and then she's like, she like yells at you and like pulls the oh, shirt out. So, so I did this thing with him and this, yeah, and Amiga Love is hilarious. <laughs> Good night Amiga Nick, thank you. It's, it's 2330, oh nice, nice. Game Master, thank you for hanging out again. Thank you for the kind words, that was really awesome. Terrafin313, thank you. Akmafin, my man. Bitstorm, Litwarski, the Brano, Litwarski, the Brano, which means good night, Polish. Nivrig, my man, thank you so much. Uch, Uch, Batan, I gotta check one of your streams out again. Welcome back, that's awesome. Thank you, Dr. Goggles, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Uh, Maya, that was an amazing stream. Thank you, thank you so much, Maya. Uh, Maya's in a similar boat as you this year with your third dad, so gotcha. yeah. So I just wanted to like, hit home for her, too. Yeah. Uh, you're welcome, Kay Indiana. Um, Locust, you rock, dude. <laughs> Ash on the mixer, you know it's yeah. bigger. Biff Vandersnatch, you're welcome. Thanks, Biff. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, uh, too bad Amigo Love's not here today. <laughs> I love Amigo Love, he's such a good guy. Um, yeah, good night, good night, Sep. It's awesome. Let's, you know what, Ash, let's see like, who I'm following that's, that's, that's streaming right now. Yeah, let's give somebody um, a nice ring. I wish, uh, I don't have your followers. Uh, but let's see, um, let's see, Twitch following. See, I have a special tab here. So nice. I can see like, who I'm following. Um, show them all. Um, oh, lots of great people. Let's see. Oh, Dancing Wolf is playing. And I see some, some Shadow Beast there. Oh, nice. He likes, he likes a warning before I rate him, though. Um, Amiga Live is streaming, too. Wow, so many people. Um, is there anyone, is there anyone that, that you want to raid or any of your friends that are, might be streaming? I mean, I know Duke. You know Duke Donuts? Yeah. You want to raid Duke? Let's raid Duke. All right, let's raid Duke. He's a good guy. All right, you called it, Ash. We'll raid, we'll raid, we'll raid the Duke Donuts. What's he doing? Incredible dos Dungeon Crawlers. Okay, so there you go. There we go. Um, let me. Uh, Duke. Hold on, Duke. We're coming for you, Duke. We're coming for you, Duke. Um, he's a really nice guy. Yeah. I like Duke a lot. I can't highlight he's it. There. He's got go. Eye of the Beholder going on. Oh, okay, this is perfect. This is the perfect raid. This is the perfect raid. This is awesome. And he has a Nintendo Power. Nice. We're totally, we're totally This is gonna... like perfect. Absolutely oh, perfect. Ash, we have to take a picture of you with the Greek stick before you leave. Oh, okay. okay. okay awesome. awesome. We will do that. Ash, don't let me forget that. Thanks to everyone for watching today. So next week's stream um, is going to be crazy. Um, the plan right now is David Pleasance, the former managing director of uh, Commodore UK, is going to come on. Uh, I'm going to make an announcement with him about his book. He's got a new book coming out. Maja, the gentleman who invented the vampire, is going to be on the stream. Dan Wood from the Retro Hour is going to be on the stream. And Zach Weddington from Viva Amiga is going to be on the stream. And they're going to give away a vampire. It's going to be crazy. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're still watching, man, you guys definitely want to tune in next Sunday. It's going to be it's going to be a wild stream. There's going to be so many people on the stream. It's crazy. And I don't need any plexiglass for it, which is great. <laughs> Dave, Dave's coming back. Yeah, it's oh, Snow Dog sent you some money. That's what? so nice. Thank you so much. I told you, Snow Dog is the, is the man. Thank you. Yeah, we'll have David on, and David, David, well the whole point is David is going to wrap part of the, um, 
of the, the Kickstarter with David, they're going to raffle off the three vampires. So someone is going to win a vampire next week. So it's going to be... Awesome. And Madja, the inventor of the vampire, will be on the list, too. That's awesome. And Dan Wood. I think Dan Wood's actually going to pick it. I was on the Retro Hour this week. Uh, I had a little cameo with Zach on the Retro Hour this week. Yeah. So if you haven't listened yet, check it out. All right, guys. Um, we're going to call it a stream. Thank you, everyone, for watching today. I'll be back next Sunday, 2 p.m. And at, why don't you ask, tell them where they can find you. Twitch.tv slash said hi on Twitch, on Twitter, and Instagram. Love it, Ash. And when do you stream? I stream Tuesdays, Thursdays, 9 p.m. EST, and on Sunday at 12 p.m. EST. Perfect. I'm so happy for you, Ash. This is such an amazing Thank day. You yeah, a very so special much. one. This is one neither one of us will ever forget. So definitely yeah. not. Thank I love you. these streams that are just memorable. So yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for coming up here, Ash. Thank You're the best. You. I'll blow you a kiss through the glass. Thank you so <laughs> Thank much. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> We're taking it to the hot tub, everyone. Thank you so much for watching and uh, Amiga Forever. We'll go raid the Duke.